this game? Okay, I just asked. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez Louise, you don't need to bite my head off. Hey guys, I've missed this. Oh, I'll be right back. Be right back. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. <laughs> I am ready. I've been recording for four minutes. I'll bring you some too. Yeah, same. Fair enough. <clears throat> um you're such a bot. <laughs> Ooh boy. Um, it's beef jerky. Of course, it's hard. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> what the huh? fuck? <laughs> what did you say? What, what is know. going on? <laughs> what is your oh. life? <laughs> of course, it's hard. Okay. I went and got beef jerky. Sandra said, "Give me some." So I gave her a piece, and she said, "No, it's hard. I don't want it." <laughs> Which I responded. It's beef jerky. Of course, it's hard. I mean, sometimes it's softer than others, but yes, oh well. sometimes it's a nice tender piece of jerk. Um, can we stop talking about tender jerks, please? <laughs> except, except yesterday, I had a really good venison I, jerky. Oh god! Uh, I thought he was going to say. Gonna say oh else. no! I was very upset. <laughs> no, he had the jerk afterwards. He had the most tender jerk. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that was this morning. Um, <laughs> but no, I had a really great venison jerky last night, and then also a wild boar one, which is really nice. I, th I thought you were gonna say I had a really nice piece of venison jerky last night, and then I just went to town on myself. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when Sandra is not around. It's, it's a problem. Yeah, Edward, Edward. Sandra. I need to return some videotapes. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rebecca. <laughs> um, okay. Why yeah. do I have keys in my pocket? Why do I have my what? No, I don't need keys. Okay. All right. Let's do the clap, guys. Y'all ready? Uh, this, this? Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, one, two, three. Gonorrhea. I guess that works. Um, I also clap, so yeah, yeah, <laughs> good. Is it, did you did you say gonorrhea because it's also known as the clap? I did indeed. Thank you for picking oh. up on that. It's Thanks such a good joke when you have to explain it. <laughs> I didn't have to explain it. I know, Rebecca. Um, the uh -huh. mood you're in today, I feel like I'm going to enjoy quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 there's very, there's you got you got some of that sauce on you today. I do. I just came back from a run, and at the park they were having an Easter egg hunt for a bunch of kids. And boy, howdy! If I had been twenty minutes earlier, all those eggs would have been mine. <laughs> <laughs> As it was, I was a little late. <laughs> oh man, uh, Eric, keep all of this. I know, right? <laughs> this um, is gold. This is fried gold. Anyway, um, so the first question I have, um. Rebecca, uh, I, I see that Bishop's a little stressed out. Um, I'm thinking maybe she didn't take a downtime. Do you remember? Um, I don't. I know that she did not. Yeah, she didn't. I think I did. She was with us at the beginning of the like at the beginning of the last adventure, and then she wasn't there at the end of it. So that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. She, she went to go have a downtime. Right. Can I go take a quick uh, downtime then? Um, yeah. And also try and cure my harm yes. as my two downtime thingies yes um well, let me just let's just catch you up on what happened since you've yes, been gone please. um so you guys so what had happened was go ahead uh. <laughs> i'm just kidding no nick nick was memeing what all right i'll just be yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll making fine. a joke it's fine okay so you guys were in the dry cleaners. You went downstairs. Um, there was a teenage girl there um, working behind the desk. <laughs> Whoops. Things went poorly from there. Um, things what, continued what, to go poorly after you left. But eventually... What's the, word oh. I was saying, what's the wording that, that, that Ash started using? To describe stop. what happened. Oh, choking out uh, a 16-year-old. Yeah. Yeah. So he choked out a 16-year-old with a telephone wire, um, and I'm probably going to have to cut that session entirely, but uh, they found what they were Can there I point for. Out? 
Mm -hmm. uh, I want to point out, I choked her out. I did not kill her. That's true, you didn't. Um, that was only half bad. We could always just change her age to 18. And then, <laughs> and then it's and then it's not, you know, choking out a minor. That's true. Um, it's still choking someone out. Yeah, but not a minor. <laughs> Slightly different. Anyway. Um, In some countries, 16 is an adult. Yeah. Uh, true. I do think it changes the legal definition of the crime if they're too old or too young. So I think, I mean, I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> so. Anyway, uh, sorry. Yeah, so they got what they were there for. Um, Ash had a horrifying experience where he was rendered both silent and invisible by magic. <laughs> he had no mouth, but he would both scream. Oh my god. Um, intentionally, I might add, by mouse. Mouse did that to him. <laughs> and then Mouse threatened us with doing that to us on purpose without our permission Rebecca, as a punishment. It, it turns out acting to stand out where his greatest fear is, and his greatest fear is to be forgotten. And he lived it. <clears throat> Good times. Um, so he used his newfound powers of forgettableness uh, to hide with a bunch of drugs that were being loaded onto a truck. Uh, and he found out those drugs were being taken to a bathhouse uh, somewhere uh, on the edge of Toronto. Um, and, yeah, he kind of skulked around there a bit. Um, I forget, did you do something to the drugs, Acton? No. No. Uh, you just got the box labeled I, M. I got the box, yeah, and I knocked out a guy. And you knocked out a guy, right, so... A typical day, really. Yeah. Um, Acting, kind of. Mm-hmm. So after that, uh, they went through downtime, and they decided that they wanted to rob uh, that police headquarters you had broken into previously uh, of its servers, and then sell the servers, sell the information on the servers, et cetera, et cetera. So we're doing this for us and not for specifically like a group or a faction yeah right exactly well, we're just a little bit worse as people <laughs> well, we're, we're doing we're doing specifically the stealing of the physical servers because we recently took a crew what, what what's it called a crew update crew thing upgrade mm -hmm. no. is it crew upgrade it, mm -hmm. it was a it was a faction upgrade, actually, that a you faction got upgrade. That was it. from the collective, which and um, yeah, it made it so we get more coins if we end up at the end of a mission with uh, high tech stuff. Which, to be fair, in hindsight, I'm not 100 percent certain that police servers would be considered that high tech, since they a lot of them still use like Tandy 286s. Hey. Hey, hey, shut up. I mean, can we rule that, that, <laughs> that we know that they have fancier ones and that's why we're robbing them? <laughs> we have seen them, so. That's true, you have. So you've seen their blinky lights and you're pretty sure they're at least, you know, worth something. <laughs> they're blinky. Also, we have an advance, don't we? Um, well, we did use that already, didn't we? We use it. Yeah, we uh, used that for the prowess, didn't we? I thought we had two. We did. Oh, we did? That's true. Yeah, we, we had... We had two advances. We only used one of them. Oh shit! We wanted we wanted Rebecca here for one of them. Didn't I agree over Discord with? That was one of them. The other that one was we didn't talk about. Okay. Um. So, yeah. I'm right, right, Eric? Yes, like... you are correct. I'm looking at it okay. now, and I see you still have one advance banked. So. Um. Here I am. Ooh, the page is moving. Well. Uh, I mean, we could. We could get weapons. Um, I would like some. Hmm. Or quarters. That's not getting incredibly annoying. <laughs> no. Is there anything that gives us better armor? Stop, that Stop it. I, Stop like, it. can't click on anything because it's all moving. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm going to open the one that says gear. Do not. There we go. Yeah, uh, never mind. Mm, thank you. Nope. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> I'm not doing it, I promise. It's like it's, a Ouija it's board. Iron, I think it's either Nick or Ed, and I'm, I'm more it's not me. Ed. I'm going to stop touching things. What's Rick rigging? Um, so what that is, is it gives you two free load. God damn it. Sorry, I clicked it just as you clicked it. <laughs> uh, two free load for gear or tools. Okay. Which seems really good. Um. Oh. Oh, oh that, that, that is what we take. The well, that, that I think that requires one. three, doesn't it? It does. Or can, you just, can, it, or can you just take it three times? You can start on it. We can start on it. You got other. I, I I do have one other suggestion. I know this is going to yeah. seem kind of weird, but maybe resolve training because that way, regardless of what we're training. We get double the benefit when doing it during a downtime. I was thinking the same thing, actually. Because it literally, because literally, if we just take resolve, then we will have every single training thing where we do it twice as fast. I would support that. I mean, mm. don't, don't get me wrong. Having one extra stress box, nice. But if we. I mean, th think of it this way. Imagine that you're having to roll resolve. Having more points in, re in resolve is always going to be better than having one extra stress box. That is how stats work. Okay. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah let's... Yeah. Okay. I am never going to try as long as, yeah. Can we start, if we get like one or two more advances, can we start throwing stuff into adaptable? We because absolutely. I 100% agree. It would be so... Helpful to me, a stressful person. Wait, so, <laughs> Eric, mm -hmm. it's three three advances adds one stress one stress box, right? <clears throat> I, I, that is what I'm double checking right now. Because tra when it says trauma, there are three, there are four extra stress boxes, but I can't imagine we have to do it that many times. No, those are those four those trauma are stress boxes are if you or when you get trauma. Because the, the, the original rules say that if you get four trauma, you're eliminated from the game. Cool. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's the question is where does the actual the extra yeah. stress come in? Um, I'm not um, sure. It's I actually it. on the sheet. It's the it's the it's the gear in the top right corner. Oh. Okay. Ah. Ah. That's is so amazing. Is. Show vampire structures. Oh. Okay, if you could have up to 14 stress boxes, I can't imagine they're going to make you do three each time. <clears throat> um, Actually, 14 call, yeah. wouldn't make okay. sense. 13 would make sense if you have four more. Because <clears throat> all I was going to say is that's 15 skill points. Yeah, I just checked the rules <clears throat> again, and it says, yeah, each PC gets one, gets plus one stress box. This costs three upgrades to unlock, not just one. What the fuck? Yeah. That makes sense. Unfortunately. Maybe you can make I, I it don't. multiple times? Um, probably. Because it is so expensive. Um, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Yeah, let's take the... the yeah. Alright, well, you guys now are fully capable of training everything. So. What up? That's good. Alright. Uh, so, yeah, so... Um, you come back from this job, uh, Rebecca, uh, mm -hmm. what would you like Bishop to do as their downtime? Uh, first I would like to relieve my whiplash. Mm -hmm. I forgot about it last time. Uh, someone remind me how to do that. It's a level one harm. So do I need to do the progress clock or do yeah. I? Yeah. Yeah. You still need to do the progress clock, unfortunately. So what do I do? Just fill in one? Click, or click the eating button. Click, click healing. Says, does that work? Healing. Yeah. Well, yeah. Ah. What it does is it rolls, and you depending on what you roll <clears throat> determines how well you heal. Okay. How many dice do I roll? That's an excellent question. Um, let me go to the uh, player reference two page. I'm not sure it's on there. <clears throat> Recover. Get treatment to, 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 to tick your healing clock. When you fill a clock, each harm is reduced by one level. That's not helpful. Um, that is actually well. That that means. 
uh, it, it's a basic clock. So it's it's uh, where is it? I got that, but if it doesn't get, tell me how many okay. to roll. I, I, it's like a long term project. I've yeah, got, if you roll one through three, you get one tick. Four through five gets two ticks. A six gets three ticks, and a crit it's gets one, five ticks. Just, Rebecca, it's one dice because no one's it's helping. It's just you. one. Okay. Hold on. Uh, Ramla can help you out with this though. Um, <gasps> so there's two ways you can do this. You can either do it yourself because you're a medic, but you'll take two stress in order to do that. Oh, that's right. I don't recommend yeah. doing it that way. <laughs> Uh, no, especially not for a level I one. I can help. I'm a doctor. Nope. I, I don't recommend you let Steven help. No, it's totally fine. Everything will be great. Um, what I do recommend is that you let Ramla help. Um, okay. And she has a quality level of two, so you'll roll two dice for her. Okay. Mm. You healed me. Let me heal you. No, I'm no. good. Actually, it's only a level one harm. It's literally with Lash. Great. Steven hangs okay. out just like... No, you should just, like, crick her neck. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. A three. Okay. Excellent. A three. Trust me, I'm a doctor. I, I fill the progress clock three? No, one segment. Nope. Oh, just one segment? Yeah. Yeah, it it, it fills like a long-term project. <clears throat> so on. depending on what you roll determines how many ticks you there get. There we go. I thought I could just take one, and instead it was, like, fill all the way up. And I'm like, no, it, don't. Um, okay. <laughs> You two just oh, jumped from the chair to the tree and, like, landed so hard that it rocked forward and then rocked back and fell over. Oh. I'm um, sorry. Trees. Okay. <clears throat> so, I and guess Rom was a little distracted right now. Yeah. Also, whiplash is hard to treat, I guess. Yeah, it's something you just kind of gotta, you know, push through on your own. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, and then, obviously, I want to indulge my vice because... Uh, I'm super stressed. Um, and I think she just goes out with her girls. That's it. She doesn't talk to, she doesn't text Teague. Teague got beat up. <laughs> Teague's still recuperating. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, okay. Go ahead and roll your recovery. Boop. <clears throat> Ooh. Well. <clears throat> That's not great. Hey, you know okay. what? We learned last time how bad it is to roll really well on this, so... Yeah. Okay, question. Is there... There's a thing, or maybe this is an ability I've heard of in a different game, but isn't there an ability to spend a uh, coin yes. or a staff to make another action? Yes. Um, I think that's worth it for me to do, because I have uh, six stress. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Uh, okay. th throw some more cash around at the at the bar. Yeah, I, we go, go, go for oh, the top wow. shelf. I, we get like the best the best champagne. My credit card bill is insane the next day. All right, is that one coin or two coins? It's just one coin for an extra downtime okay. action. Okay. Let me remove the buddy. There we go. No bonus dice. Submit. Come on, come on, come on. You mother of Christ <laughs> Jesus. You Two demon. Ones. You villain. Holy shit. Oh, Are you sure man. you weren't here yes you were here last week? That's you're rolling oh, very similar to how we rolled last yeah. week. That is that is okay. bad. Oh boy. I'm sorry, well, Rebecca. Okay. No no uh, you know what, guys? We're gonna have a really relaxing Trip to no, we can't because we're using my door to doors thing, aren't we? Um, uh, could we spend the point? Could she spend the point of intimacy? <laughs> she can, but then you guys will be right back down to zero. I mean, fuck I can, it. I can use intimacy for doors to doors too. Um, yeah, but I'd rather use it to try and get some stress. It, it'll but be the it, it'll be the same net outcome. It'll be the same amount, yeah, because I can either spend two stress to open any other door and come out of the door we want. Or one intimacy. Girl. Or we could, just, or we could I, not do that mission yet. I yeah, I think roll it for the stress because you might use the stress for other things as well. So you think I should use intimacy to do to A reduce stress stress again? Yeah. Oh, he's saying re-roll the check. Oh. Yeah. Re-roll the check. Okay. <clears throat> do you guys mind? Is that okay? I'm, yeah, I'm saying you should. We've got to figure out how you're going to use this, the, the intimacy then. Uh, I send a text to you guys. And I'm like, come <coughs> with me! 
Maria, I just ran off of the bar. Oh God. I feel like no one will come out with you. <laughs> mouse will. Mouse, please. What's happening? Jeremy just well, got me to hold the on. Phone. It could be that like you the way you burn that intimacy is you like you like like your your card gets declined. So you reach into your per or you reach into your wallet and you pull out Mouse's credit card. <laughs> Mouse doesn't have a credit card. Well, yeah, Mouse will never be. Uh, firstly, firstly, we all know it's going to be active credit cards because come okay, on. Active, active credit card. <laughs> Oh, yes, Bishop's sorry, sorry to just like burst that, but yeah, Mouth does not have yeah. a credit card. <laughs> okay, Mouth doesn't have fine? credit. Yeah, we're fine doing this, it sounds like. Okay, all right. Thank <clears throat> you, guys. I feel bad using our intimacy. All right, here we go. For the love oh my god, I don't even want to hit this button. God, if you want a fucking one, Rebecca, I... I'm gonna... A four! What the fuck? Oh. That is actually the perfect amount because any more <clears throat> and I would have... Oh, so that was a reroll. So technically, I should take away three. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm down to two stress. <clears throat> Perfect. That's the just. That's the amount of stress I live in my everyday life. I feel good about this. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All right. So, so <sighs> like you guys are ready to rob not a bank but a police headquarters. Um, Hang on one second. My cat's being a dick. <laughs> Fair enough. <clears throat> Pause for dickish cat. Hear me? Is Mike still here? Oh, okay. A doop doop doop. So, yeah, we should definitely play Sea of Thieves later this week. Def well, we should play Sea of Thieves later today. I mean, that's kind of what I was suddenly hinting at. Okay, good. <clears throat> Alright, I've returned. Welcome back. back. Welcome back. <clears throat> Uh, also, I just remembered, or I just realized, because you can get into the like options in the little uh, gear tab, that you can actually like add different stuff or like rename stuff on your character sheet. Oh, that's shit. Cool. Actually, that's that's an interesting point because I I just noticed that you changed something, um, Eric. Mm -hmm. You 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 changed stash. Right. Yeah. Let me talk about that a little bit. Yeah. Um, so this is something I want to try out. Um, do, don't mess with it on your guys' character sheet, because this is more of like just a temporary thing. Um, it occurred to me that this game isn't really the same to the base game, where the base game is kind of like how successful your character is is kind of directly tied to your stash, uh, at least how successful they are at the end of the game. Um, whereas like the accumulation and? of wealth isn't really the point of this game. Yeah, like, in the base game of uh, Blades in the Dark, your character can retire, usually when they get too traumatized. Um, ah. And basically their stash determines how good their standard of living is uh, going forward after they retire. Um, but you guys are messengers. You probably won't retire, or at least your retirement isn't the focus of this game. <laughs> Um, so instead, what I decided is uh, to replace that with something I'm calling Intel. Uh, and this is going to be an abstraction of kind of like the information you gather. Um, it's going to be kind of an extra resource you guys can use in certain situations. Uh, because Stash, as of right now, is just kind of an extra bank to hold your coin when you run out of slots, which doesn't really help. Um... So right now you guys have six of it, um, and how it works is during downtime, you can convert it back and forth uh, with coin at a rate of one to two, uh, just like stash. Um, however, you can take an actual downtime action uh, to go in um, and actually kind of be an intelligence dealer a little bit and buy or sell it. Uh, and how much you roll um, equals the amount that can be converted at a one to one rate. Um, okay. Okay. You can also spend your intel uh, uh, to get various effects, um, including you can spend an intel to increase the effect of an action roll uh, or add one bonus die to resisting a consequence. Um, but you have to explain basically how <clears throat> previous intel helps you do that. Like you might say, oh, well, I think the intel we got tells me that, um, you know, the guns they're shooting at us, 
you know, uh, don't work on ceramic armor or something like that. So I packed ceramic armor or, right. um, oh, I'm going to be really effective in this hacking role because I've, I've already seen their schematics. Um, it can also, if you spend one before an engagement roll, uh, like at the start of a score, um, that can kind of represent having extra intel on the place where you're actually doing the score. Um, and that will increase the result level by one, meaning that if you rolled um, like a one to three, it'll, it'll be counted as a four to five. If you rolled the four to five, it'll be counted as a six. If you roll a six, it'll be counted as a critical. Um, and how this will kind of work uh, in terms of gaining intel, in addition to just buying it outright, um, it, the reward types will kind of vary depending on the score you guys are going on. Like, for instance, for this score, uh, at the end of it, I'm going to give you a certain amount of, uh, you know, intel and coin, and you guys can kind of freely trade between it because the whole idea is that you're doing this to um, both gain the tech and also gain the intel, which you can then presumably sell to other people or cool. keep for yourself. Oh, um, the last thing... Wait, so... Okay, yeah, go on. Uh, the final thing is, uh, for every 10 intel you have, you gain plus yep. one to every gather information roll. Um, so if you had like 10 intel, um, you, you get plus one to every gather information. If you had 20, you'd have plus two. And it can only, the maximum is 30, so you can only get up to plus three. But then... Do that's you a, expend... That's a, uh... When you ro when you roll, like, so you get a plus one to a roll, do you expend that 10 intel? Um, no. When you spend it on gathering information, when you use, the, the gathering information thing is just a passive effect. Oh, okay, cool. You only spend intel to get a plus one to the effect, or uh, resisting a consequence, or an engagement rule. Cool. And I wrote out all these rules on the thing, so you guys can refer back to it. No, I saw that. Thank you. Can I ask a quick question? Sure. Yeah, Nick, what the fuck is going on in your house? <laughs> yeah, it, it sounds like you're kidnapping a microphone with a tinfoil bag and a micro pig accomplice. Don't, you wrote that down. Don't, don't make the joke again. Well, I wanted to make it on the thing. I'm sorry. I thought it was a good joke. Um, I was opening up a taco. <laughs> <laughs> what the? F how big was this taco? It, it was it was wrapped in aluminum foil. I got the aluminum foil. Wait, then what was all the banging? Uh, How do you when? open your tacos, Ash? Yeah. <laughs> I'm opening so a taco, like, guys. It's not tacos anymore. It's now just dust. Ugh, I want a taco. I don't know what you're talking about with the banging. I don't think the banging was me. Okay. Well, we'll find out when I edit this. Oh, uh, boy. Oh yeah, Eric. Good luck editing this. <laughs> It'll be fine. It's it's actually fine because I can just like isolate just what what I was saying and edit the rest of you out, which is ninety percent of what the podcast is. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Drag us. Oh. Anyway. Um, so yes, yeah. Please. Does anyone have any other questions about this? No. Makes okay. sense. I don't think so. And we're going to see if this like works, because this. this is new. So, like, if it turns out, like, that it's a horrible nightmare, um, we can always go back to the old way of doing things. Yeah, I like this addition, though. It, it seems good. Mm -hmm. It seems it seems good uh, thematically, too, which I like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I posted it to the Blades in the Dark Google Hangouts subreddit thing, and no one yelled at me about it, so... I'm assuming it works. We'll see. <laughs> All right. So, let's do some crimes, shall we? Let's do yeah, some I guess. crimes. Sure. Let's do a crime. So, again, just to review, your plan is to break into the Pink <laughs> Palace, the Toronto Police Headquarters, uh, using the uh, door that... Uh, Bishop previously created into the bathroom on the ground floor uh, to go in. I'm presuming <clears throat> late at night, like after hours. 
No, right in the middle of the day. <laughs> right in the middle of the day. You could just walk in the front door. Um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's at night. And yeah, let's do like four o'clock where it's like after like all the cops who have been like working the like bars and yeah. out shift have gone home. You know, like it's kind of like a weird time. Okay. Even the criminals are sleeping, except for us, I guess. Mm-hmm. You, I think the majority Rebecca, of our crimes crime have happened sleep. at night. <laughs> yes, that is usually when crimes happen. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so here we go then. Um, all right. So you guys get assembled uh, in the black site uh, near the door that uh, Bishop's going to open. Uh, you guys will want to choose your load before you go in. Uh, rather, yeah. Whether it's light, normal, or heavy. <clears throat> I'm going to go light since I already have a whiplash. <laughs> whiplash. I, I, I think I'm going to go light because we're walking into a police station, so I don't want to walk in there with a rifle. Like, <laughs> what does what does normal do? Uh, normal is like carrying a backpack. Okay, I'm going to go normal. I'm also going normal. Yeah, then I'll take back to normal. <clears throat> Sounds good. Yeah, that's Ash. Yes, that is Rory. He's very unhappy with me right now. Oh, uh, why? What have you done? Uh, we have a problem with our sink right now, and our landlord keeps coming over to try to fix it, and we're not supposed to have Rory. So I've had him locked in the in the room with me. <laughs> ah. oh. Oh, <laughs> He's problems. very very unhappy with me. He's a fugitive. <laughs> fugitive cat. <laughs> oh, on the wrong side of the law. <laughs> I feel for you. We're only supposed to have two cats, but we have four. God damn it. Oh, sorry. My doorbell just rang, which is weird. I'm not expecting anyone. I'll be two sets. Okay. That was the most, that was one of the most English things he's ever said. I'm not expecting anyone. Yes, like, okay. <laughs> I can only do my shitty British accent once Ash leaves. <laughs> just into visiting hours. It's not visiting hours. Who could be? What's all this then? Look at my door. It's a delivery man, isn't it? <laughs> With the post. He's got the post. There's no post on Sundays. <laughs> oh my god. I hope this stays in the podcast. <laughs> Ash will just be listening to it in a few months like you motherfuckers. <laughs> Oh my god. Sorry, I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back, Ash. What's happened? Nothing. Things that made Don't happen. make me listen back. Yeah, it's fine. Who was it? Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <clears throat> Wait, what's so, I need to know what's so funny. This is going to bug me. No, don't worry about it. We'll tell you later. We were making, uh, fun, of you. We were making fun of you for being English. Oh, okay. We were not making fun of you. I mean, Rebecca, no. you, Rebecca was making fun down. of you. <laughs> hands down, you were making fun of me. Oh my god, we weren't. <laughs> All right. I'm crying. But uh, glad it wasn't uh, anything more serious. Uh, so yeah, so you guys are going to break in. Um, so this will be a stealth plan. The detail of your entry is that you're just kind of going through the store that Bishop opened for you. Um, in the bathroom. In the bathroom. And let's take a look at uh, engagement rolls real quick. Someone else roll it who isn't me. Yeah, uh, I think that would be a good plan. <laughs> I think I'll just, Eric roll it? I usually just roll it, so we'll just yeah. do that. Okay. I just need to see... <clears throat> There it is. Okay. All right. Is this operation particularly bold or daring? Um. Yes. Yeah. We're we'll running a police station. I'd say there's a plus one for that. Uh, is this operation overly complex or contingent on many factors? Not really. To be fair, we don't know yet. <laughs> it, it might get complex. We'll see. Um, no, is there any legwork? The plan thing? is not complex. That's weird. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, does this plan's detail expose a vulnerability of the target or hit them where they're weakest? I'm going to give you a plus one for that just because you're opening a door that, like, shouldn't be opened after a certain time and night. So they won't be expecting you to get in that way. Um, 
do they have special particular defenses or special preparations? No, they're not strong against it. Uh, can any of your friends or contacts provide aid or insight for this operation? I, I can. As, as mine actually works there. That's true. You did take a friend who works there. Right. That's three. So, Who's your friend again? Jason Jones. He's a Toronto police officer, I guess. Jason <coughs> Jones and me. I actually, <laughs> I actually named him after a person who works with me. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Um, well, now we can say that all characters are fictitious. That's true. Well, he is. He is fictitious, as this guy isn't actually a police officer. <laughs> it's just a name. Just a name. <clears throat> What's in a name? Okay. Also, I also I realize if this is going to go public, I, I need to change the rival. One who's a real who I hate. <laughs> 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 and I was like, you know what? Might need to change that. Oh, shit. I rolled really well for you guys. Zion! Whoa! For those listening at home, it was a six, a six, and a five. What happens when we crit on engagement? Let's take a look. Exceptional result. You've already overcome the first obstacle, and you're in a controlled position for what's next. Okay. That's great. Is it? I mean, it's good for yeah. you guys. All right. So you step through the door <clears throat> in the black site and into 40 College Street, uh, the pink palace, the headquarters of the Toronto PD. Stepping out of the ladies' room, where you made your entrance, you can see that not much appears to have changed. There's the same cheap carpeting, the same dully painted hallways. Uh, the atrium, however, is manned by a single security guard, despite the late hour. Uh, the guard is leaning back in his chair, holding the earpiece of a telephone up to his ear with thick, sausage-like fingers. He's uh, saying, Yeah, they, they got me working the graveyard shift now, ever ever since they got new key cards and the elevators and all of the staircases. Someone has to be here in case some inspector burned the midnight oil forgets his pass. <clears throat> I'm going to turn to Act I'm going to turn to uh, Acton, and I'm going to like gesture towards the guy and mime like using a garrote. <laughs> Wow, that <clears throat> cuts a bishop just like mm -mm, mm -mm, just silently. Yeah, <laughs> act is like act just gives him a what the fuck look. It's like no, this is like a police officer who's old. No, it's like the phone cord. Oh, but okay. Also, are so, we also no. I feel like with this one we're definitely trying to be much more stealthy than the other ones. Yeah, we definitely are. Also, when you said garrot, I I thought you meant slitting his throat. <laughs> That what what? But it, that's not what. Sometimes you, a garrote can do that. Yeah. Oh yeah. I guess if it's a wire garrote, yeah. And I was like, dude, what the fuck? Yeah, behead, behead him. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm telling you to do. <clears throat> we could we could become these serial killers that you know just beheads people. Um, for a slight inconvenience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, so sorry, what did this guy just say? I just can't remember that. Uh, so first he was he, talking about the key cards. Yeah, he was saying that all the staircases and the elevators, you need to have a key card to get through them. Uh, he continues on uh, after a minute, after you guys talk about strangling him in the darkness. He says, yeah, I heard about it. Yeah, yeah, the, the lucky son of a bitch got three weeks paid leave. And a broken collarbone, but uh, what are you going to do? I'm trying to think, like, are we talking, I, I think that's the security guard, I beat the shit out. Um, the doc is going to pull out his ray gun and just kind of hold it up and, and you're like, you want me to? I'll do no, no. <laughs> like, what I'm saying is... No. Um, immediately, Axon puts his hand on the ray gun and like <laughs> down. <clears throat> oh. The guard continues. And well, it's the damnedest thing, right? Near as we can tell, they didn't even break into the bank. Mm -hmm. Just some Leviathan security truck that happened to be there dropping something off. Oh God, they're talking about us. Can I? Um, okay, so can I do a flashback? Sure. Um, so I, I I want a flashback to. Uh, so, like, us preparing for the mission, uh, and I'm going to put on uh, a, a police uniform, the same one that I had last time I was here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, except this time, 
Uh, so last time, Mouse made a badge for me. Um, I want them to try again because the badge wasn't great last time and that nearly gave us away. Here's Rude. the thing. So I'm going to give it to you because you guys, because I rolled such, so well on your engagement, um, okay. that this is sufficient, um, that this disguise is sufficient for you. Okay. Like you won't have to roll anything for it. Oh, all right, cool. I, I am actually going to click disguise on my load. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, so I want to uh, just like walk out of the bathroom, just out like, I was going to say, like, not quietly, I'm just going to be walking out of the bathroom, making a little bit of noise, so it just doesn't seem like I'm trying to be um, subtle or quiet. Can I, um, point of order, it is the women's yeah. bathroom, so you might just want to, like, scoot I'm over. Not gonna, I'm not going to walk <laughs> out in... Uh, I'm not going to do that then. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slip out. Um, slip out. Yeah. Walk out of the men's bathroom. <laughs> yeah, walk out of the men's bathroom. Um, and I'm going to go and uh, talk to the... Uh, the guard, uh, the guard, the police officer up front. Um, okay. uh, my hat's gonna be down just a little bit to hide a bit of my face. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, th yeah. they kind of know who you are at this point, <laughs> but it'll be, uh, yeah, it'll be fine. Um, as you approach, um, the guy kind of like sees you out of the corner of his eye and he, like, he puts up a finger, like, wait. Uh, and then he leans in his chair forward with an audible creak, still talking to the guy on the phone. He says, so here's the kicker, though. The Leviathan guys won't even tell us what got took. They're all lawyered up, talking about how they have to protect the confidentiality of their clients. So we don't know, even know who this guy is, what he took, what he took, what exactly he looks like, or what he's going to do with it. And then he looks up at you, Acton. And then uh, looks down again. And he says, "Yeah, yeah, someone's here. I gotta, I gotta deal with this. I'll talk to you later." Okay, love you too, honey. Bye. And he puts the phone oh. Down. oh, that was his wife or mistress, because you don't know. Um, or husband. He's got a family. Oh, actually, that's fair. Or husband. That was that was very you sexist. What? Why? That's, no, heteronormative. That's that's not. What? Anyway, <laughs> it was very something of me. Yeah, he 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 looks up at you and says, "Can I help you, officer?" Um. Uh. So Acton's gonna uh, like not lean forward, but he's gonna lean on the counter. Um. Uh. And he, he's gonna he's gonna strike up a conversation about the uh, the bank robbery because this guy was talking about. Mm -hmm. Um. So, uh, uh, just a quick question: Is whose precinct was it? Is it was it on this precinct or was it on another one? This is a headquarters, um, so okay. Like they don't really have a strict like um, valley way <coughs> or district. They're okay. in charge of the entire city. Okay, so I am gonna just uh, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna strike up a conversation with him and just say like I I'm, I'm from. Uh, I'm from like the 52nd precinct or whatever, um, mm -hmm. and that uh, you know it, it was whichever precinct it was on that that ground was on, uh, mm -hmm. and just say like it, you know, yeah we chased we chased the guys uh, uh, down the down the highway for a while, but uh, uh, the uh, Levada guys uh, pretty much stopped us from carrying on. Uh, they get away with so much shit these days, um, just because uh, just because they got money, they think they could do what they want. Uh, uh, no one like respects the cops anymore. I just have, I just have like a proper moan. <laughs> the guy uh, nods kind of sadly, and he says, "Yeah, you're right, buddy. I mean, they they they're definitely up to some shady shady shit, but no one knows exactly what it is. Um, I hear they pay pretty good, though. Yeah, but like, is it worth it? I mean." They, um, you know, they they get paid pretty well, but like the shit they have to do, I can't imagine is, you know, the best. Um, I, I haven't, I don't know about you, but like, I've not been shot at many times uh, on on the job. But I can imagine that the Leviathan guys, they operate, they operate like in Afghanistan, they operate in the Middle East, all over. Not it's not. Mm -hmm. He he nods and he says, "Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't want to get." shipped off to, you know, go fight in the Yankees' wars or anything like that. 
Yeah, exactly. That's what we were kind of there as well. Um, uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I that's like, what the Canadians call us, but it might be. It's what everyone calls you. Um, uh, it was like, yeah, uh, it's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and then I, I look, I look down, like, like pretending I just got like on my phone. It's like, oh yeah, um, I'm here to um, uh, pick up something from uh, evidence. I, just, I, I've got my swipe. I can't get in. Uh, the guy kind of sighs and he says. Well, you'll need to talk to Sheila on evidence then. But uh, here, I can at least get you through the elevator. Uh, Cheers, buddy. And he gets up, takes a key pass out of his uh, from around his neck, and then like waves it over a little key pass thing, uh, and the elevator doors creak open. Cool. I so then what I want to do is as like I, I want to um, as the doors are open, is sort of still talk to him but like make him face the other way so the other guys can slip it to the elevator <laughs> <laughs> oh boy that's that's pretty funny actually um okay uh do to do so what kind of thing will this be um i kind of have an, an idea if you want an assist on this yeah please i kind of want to it's not really a flashback to before Thing. I kind of want to, while you're talking to him, I want to uh, sneak like over to somebody's like desk and just like, like hands and knees and just kind of like push something over. So he has to go see what it is and then run away. <laughs> just like knock something <laughs> off a desk. Like, yeah. Okay. Or just like knock over a file cabinet. Uh, whoa, a whole file cabinet. Well, like, no, I'm, nothing big. I just want to cause a distraction, and then you can just hold the elevator door open. <clears throat> okay. okay. Um, that's either going to be uh, a prowl or a finesse, I would imagine. Oh, please. Thank you, finesse. I have a three in finesse. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to try this. I am literally just, like, hands and knees, like, creeping over. Okay. okay. I would say this is risky, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. It seems about right um i will remind you guys um and i'll be doing this occasionally uh that you can always worsen your position like if something's risky you can make it desperate because of your relationship with someone to gain back an intimacy oh because <laughs> i'm just reminding you because you are helping acton out and yeah, you still have some might... bad blood with him should i do desperate oh, guys i think, I think so I think it kind of is because I'm literally not relying on any skill other than I am creeping around and pushing something over. So it does a lot. I mean, of it seems very desperate. <laughs> not to mention, you, I think you are the one who is like the least criminally of all of us. So <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty not criminally, you know. Being You're a mad okay. scientist. <laughs> all right, get out, of, get out of my face. <laughs> Said the guy with pointing <laughs> the phaser at the police officer. <laughs> you, you, Doctor Fucking Frankenstein. You are one of the most really out of all of us. All right. I don't know what you're talking right. about. I am an upright citizen. For I was pretty right. game. I think you mean upstanding. <laughs> I am an upright citizen. I stand up a lot. Okay. Oh I, my god. God. All right. Anyway, I have limited effect because I have whiplash. My neck hurts so bad, uh, and I don't have any bonus dice. I don't think. No. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Oh boy. I'm you hitting some it. A four. Oh, cool. Nice. That's, pretty good. That's okay. Two ones, it's not, though, I mean, so I, close. I know, Jesus Christ in heaven. <laughs> okay. It's Easter. Wow. I'm using a lot of very religious. Phrases. I was gonna say yeah. <laughs> Just Jesus into Christ in heaven. Way to date this episode, Rebecca. I'm sorry. I already talked about an um, Easter egg hunt that I almost robbed some kids of earlier today. Did, oh, did she say what year it was, Ed? No, she didn't. No, she okay. Didn't. Uh, this is taking place in the future. <laughs> 20 minutes into the future. Uh, you do it, <laughs> but there's a consequence. You suffer severe harm, a serious complication occurs, you have reduced effect. Um, okay. So... I'm going to say the combination, like, the reduced effect. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just start a clock, shall we? Oh, goodness. Uh, we already have police investigation. Is this uh -huh. the heat within this very building? <laughs> Not even, like, the heat in general. Just, like, I think something's going on. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be... I'm going to call this, like, alert. 
Oh, oh, it's not just like this police station is haunted. <laughs> oh my god. I am the police station ghost. <laughs> I think someone, I think this shit might be haunted. Um, the Phantom of the Pink Palace is there. Okay. Um, and it'll be two ticks on the alert. So, oh no. I'm sorry. This, so you push over like a computer or something in another room. Jesus. The guy's like, the security guard looks at Acton and says, did you hear that? Yeah, man, what the hell was that? He says, you can go on up. I, I gotta go check that out. And he takes out his right, flashlight buddy. and he walks over to where uh, Bishop knocked some shit over. And meanwhile, I am like butt scooting across, like end of the next room, like trying to get back to the elevator. Okay, yeah. The rest of you can use this opportunity uh, to get into the elevator. And yep, you're fine. doing that thing. Okay. Also, I want to also I want to point out really really quickly before we get any further, we do not need to worry about being caught on camera because we're stealing the servers that have the camera footage on them. Oh so, yeah. Nice. <laughs> I want to make a point of something, guys. Is that I solved the problem without violence. Look Who at you. are you? <laughs> Way to go. Um, I mean, it's, it's very bad for my character development, as that's what gets me experience points. But guys, I'm learning. So, <laughs> real quick, Nick, do you want to just assume that that's still true, or do you want to flash back and double check that? That the 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 footage is still being stored on the server servers. Oh, what if it's yeah, in the cloud? Yeah I, can, yeah, I can check that. That's fine. <laughs> what if it's in the cloud? <laughs> Sorry, that, that's legitimately the way acted reacted. What if it's would, in the cloud? <laughs> would that be a would that be a tinker roll? Uh, yes, or study. I cool. guess. Cool. I'm I'm gonna go with tinker. Okay. I'll go with study. I like study more. That's more fun. But it's also controlled, I assume. Yes. Standard effect. And one bonus die because I'm fancy. Oh! Six. Oh, nice. nice. Six. Oh my god, I'm six and two ones. How could you. What is going on with the way? ones, guys? Mm hmm. And that should actually be uh, increased effect because I have fine, fine tech, tech implements. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so I'm going to count this as a gather information check because that's pretty much what you were doing. Yes. Let me see what the <clears throat> rules are for that real quick. I think it's like you get extra bonuses. Uh, information. Come on. What the f Come on. What the f Why <laughs> why is not not tell me how that role works? Okay. I'll just say I answer in greater detail. Um so yeah, the security has been upgraded um, on the uh, police HQ. Um, it looks like they actually hired an outside consultant, um, one that you're familiar with, in fact. Oh, shit. Um, it's your old buddy. It's your old pal. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Harp mm, Trench, right. That's his handle. Uh, Harton Trench. Trench. Um, and he's been hired to upgrade the security, harden uh, all the systems against your particular really? brand of hacking. Well, not your particular brand of hack hacking, but hacking in general. So he has, in fact, uh, manipulated things so that the uh, footage is being stored very briefly locally and then being uploaded, um, you know, every few hours into the cloud. So off-site somewhere. Oh, shit. And he's They've done, got a couple hours. <laughs> he's done other things that will just make it more difficult for you to hack into things, because he's almost as good as you, sometimes beats you. Uh, it's a little complicated. Oh, perfect. All right. Well, ignore what I said earlier. Uh, fuck. 
Shit. Yeah. So if, if you want, if we can get to the server room, I can I can fix this. Can we do like a flashback where Bishop Mouse is telling them this, and Bishop's like, "Can you like reverse hack him?" <laughs> hack him hack harder. Hacker. Like well, we, yeah, like what I what I would like to do st still probably in flashback mode um, is try to install like a temporary like block so that it won't get uploaded uh, when that time yeah. comes. Okay. Or like or to, either that or to time our our efforts. You said it gets uploaded every few hours. Mm -hmm. um, time our efforts so that we are so that we're going there um, just after an upload. Yes. Yeah, just after an upload, and then we can. If it's a, we're not going to be here for a few hours, so when it's over, I can go. I can go in and you know fix everything. There is another option. We could flash back and just cut the internet access coming in and out of this precinct. We, we, I feel like that would draw way too much attention to this. We don't want to do that. That would be that. Yeah, they have to call someone in. <clears throat> have to call Verizon. Verizon's not responding for another. Call Unless I don't mind. Yeah. I like the um, idea that you guys are syncing this up so that you're going in at the start yeah. of the upload because that gives me another clock to <clears throat> screw around with you guys. Ah, God on. damn it! <laughs> you you Remember when I said I love clocks? I don't love clocks. <laughs> don't worry, it doesn't have any ticks yet. It's just you guys are now literally on a clock. See what I did there? Go on, like Dustin Hoffman and look. I saw what you did there, and I appreciated that. Okay. Dustin Hoffman and Hook. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, you need to kind of get through this before the upload gets through in order to get rid of that footage effectively. So, um, yeah. So you guys are in this elevator. Uh, any other flashbacks or anything else anyone's going to try and do? Not yet. Okay. Um, Wait, do we take stress for that? No, because it was just all gathering information. Okay. Yeah, we were just like chit chatting. We weren't preparing anything. Mm -hmm. um, and for the record, I did take my two stress to open the door into the bathroom. <clears throat> Thank um, you. I just didn't say it, and I remembered it later, and I was like, "Oh, I should tell them out loud that I did this thing." Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and we also take minus one stress when performing flashbacks, just for the record. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's why you didn't take any stress yeah. for that. <clears throat> cool. Yep. Um. Okay. So I'm also going to tell you um, that your research confirmed that the server room is uh, now on the third floor uh, of this uh, police headquarters. So, well, that's not great either. Perfect. All right. I asked if it mattered. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if it really screws I just you up. Why don't, why don't we just have... Um, why don't we literally just use the doorway of the server room as a doorway out? That's and what then I was just, too. just push the servers through the doorway. <laughs> but not unlike rollers. <laughs> okay, well, we open a doorway. Oh, we'd have to go back and forth a couple also, times. Also, wait, I'm, I'm confused because I thought servers aren't these giant fucking, like, they aren't these giant pieces of you know, things with like whirring tape and they are little stacks. Yeah, so no, they're like big they're like cabinets. No, well no technically yeah, the see. cabinet is just a housing for the servers. Yeah. The servers are individual racks. Yeah. Oh, sorry, the, the cabinets are racks, but they're the servers are individual like things oh. slotted into the racks. Like they look like that. Like, okay. um, That's true. So you could I guess yeah, I was imagining that you guys would be like trying to push an entire rack through. But you can yeah, presumably like unplug them and like unscrew them and then like yeah. carry them out one at a time. Then Yeah, I do have one more door. Cause didn't we say at the dry cleaning place, didn't we say like I scrub the chalk symbol off after we get, get through? Yeah. I think so, I, yeah. I think I remember that before we even like started getting into the back of the dry cleaners. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so so cinematically, uh, can we imagine that we're all in the elevator and we uh, and it like not it's not like a flashback in terms of like game mechanics, but we can like flashback mechanically or fl flashback cinematically to all of us planning what to do next. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay, cool. 
Um, so we're not just like standing in an elevator, but I'm like, okay, now what? <laughs> yeah. That, that's how the flashback uh, tool is intended to be used. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you get to the third floor. Uh, the, elevo- the elevator doors slide open with a hiss. Uh, you see that the third floor is a maze of twisting corridors and offices linked together with steel uh, and glass and like glass wall windows. Uh, there are security cameras blinking softly in nearly every corner. Uh, you can also hear the soft padding of feet on carpet as there's likely at least one or two guards patrolling this floor. Now the question is, how are you going to get through here? I pull out the ray gun again. <laughs> yeah, oh my god! I imagine if you reach head for the ray gun sorry. and someone like puts a hand, I'm just like no. Can, I'm sorry. Here, can I can snatch the ray gun out of his hands? Uh, I don't think that's you necessary. Sure you do that? No, we don't need a gun. Um, we, we don't need an accidental ray gun going off. Uh, I I have an idea. Yeah. It does just say pew. Like, it, it's my voice saying pew as it, like, goes. So. Oh, my God. So I have a drone, and you said that they are glass windows, like glass walls here? Mm-hmm. Um, what if I took my drone out and I drove it down the hallway, getting the attention of, of all the people inside to be like, what the hell's that? And then just like directed it away from all of us. <laughs> just use the drone as a, like a dis- as a distraction. <laughs> yeah. We don't at this point just pull the fire alarm. No, we don't want to draw that much attention to ourselves. <laughs> we, we don't have to get out. That was my point. Well, if you if you want to hold on to your drone, I can always send one spider bots because that also, makes like, sorry. makes little tapping sounds down the hallway. I'm sorry, you're saying we don't want to draw attention to. Yet, I believe a drone driving across the server of police HQ is going to cause more draw, tr- you know, going to cause more attention than the fire alarm going off, which is an actual thing that should happen every now and again. Fair. <laughs> like, whoa. But we we could also just have like spider bots because they're like, you know, they're like, oh, what a weird looking bug. And it just like distracts them. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, pull the fucking fire alarm. Whoa, okay. An escalation. That'll escalate wanna, like, things. Please note the fire alarm does not cause the sprinklers to go off because that's not how fire alarms work. That is very much not how fire alarms work. Um, Thank you. Also, Ash, when a fire alarm goes off, doesn't someone usually go around and make sure everyone everyone is getting out of the building? Yeah, but also the lift's locked down, so stairs are the only way through the building. We just got the stairs. Hold on, before we the stairs. Guys, it doesn't matter. We don't have to go back down the stairs. Before We're we pull the fire down. alarm, we should Nick should just make us invisible. I'm not gonna do that. No. But well, maybe. Why? <clears throat> I wanna be invisible. No, we can't talk to each other. I can do it, like, it won't cost as much stress if it's much less time period, so that's probably doable, but it's going to be more people, so... (laughs) I said, well, like, look, so here's here's my thing, right? Pull the fire alarm. Everyone then has to evacuate the building while the brigade get... Well, the, the, the brigade, the fire department get called. The fire department then have to do a search of the building. We're on what floor? The third third floor. Third floor. So that what? Let's say uh, we pull the fire alarm. The fire alarms usually aren't linked to um, uh, two fire departments. They are separate because that's ridiculous. So that means someone then has to call the fire department. Take about 10 minutes to get here, especially if it's just a false alarm. Then they have to do a sweep of each floor. We've got at least half an hour. Okay. Uh, and that, and how, I how like many that's enough time. There? How many floors are there in this place? Three. Well, we're on the third, but they'd start bottom up. They wouldn't go. W- would they though? <clears throat> yeah. A- Ash just, knows. Ash, I trust Ash. Ash okay. works for the London Fire Brigade, my guy. <laughs> no, <that's fair. laughs> Believe him. <laughs> okay. This is the only time I'm useful. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking they would have started at the top and worked their way down, but that make I guess that makes sense. To be fair, actually, actually, they would probably try and start on the third floor because I'm pressing this one, but I could just go to another floor and pull the fire alarm. 
Or you can <clears> flash back <throat> to pulling it, like, you know, on a different floor, like stepping out the second floor, pulling the alarm, or something like uh, that. No, Cause we, we should get off at time. the third. Like, mm -hmm. this is the way. We should get off at the third. I will run down the stairs, pull it on, like, the first or the fourth, whichever one, mm -hmm. and then run back up to the third floor. Um, because once you pull the fire alarm, the lift shut. The lift shut down, and they all drop to the, the ground floor, so uh, they can't be used. <clears throat> um, question. When you said that there are key cards, is that just for the first floor <laughs> stairs and elevators, or is that for every floor? <clears throat> like, to get out of the, in and out of the stairwell? You, you wouldn't have... Um, you wouldn't have swipe access on fire exit. And that's what the stairwells are. That's true. Okay. I thought, I thought swipe access goes away when the fire alarm gets pulled. Like you don't it need does. it. It does. I mean, it would, it would also, that would also We're overthinking this so. at this point, guys. <laughs> like, no, I'm, I'm barely it's, talking it's like about my job. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ash. I'm very interested in fire procedure, but that's not this podcast. Um, that might no be our next either. podcast, <laughs> where it's just firefighter podcast. We talk the about fighting me, fires RP. and uh, their procedure in detail. But yes, <clears throat> that is something you can do, Acton. Um, what action do you think that would be? I don't know because I'm not even going to try and be stealthy about it because I'm wearing a police uniform, so I don't have to sneak around the building. Mm hmm. Uh, isn't it a federal crime to be a, to dress as a police officer when you're not a police officer? I mean, it incredibly is, but they have to actually figure out that you're not a police officer. <laughs> the same. You're here to rob the police station. It's the same for postal workers. Don't dress up as a postal worker for Halloween. Yeah, like, guys, I don't. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I don't think, I don't think the level of a crime is very important to us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, we're we're, we're stacking crimes up. Literally robbing a police station. We are not concerned about crime. Well, I mean, I, I could do accurate. crowd. Um, yeah, let's let's do a prowl check. This will be controlled though, because you're not like going anywhere you shouldn't be. You are dressed up as a police officer. Cool. Get rid of that. Um, controlled. Effect standard. Mm hmm. Okay. I don't. Do I get any bonus dice for this? No, I do nah. not. Um. I actually want to push myself for this because this okay. could go horrible. Uh, so I'll take a bonus die. I'm so and two stress. Nice! Nice! Yes! I pull the shit out of that fire alarm! He is the knight! He is the fire alarm. What? Nice. Very well done. So, yeah, uh, Ash rolled a six. So, yeah, you scurry on down uh, to the second floor. <clears throat> Pull a fire alarm, scurry back up, meet up with everyone else. Um, people start uh, filing out. There, there's not a lot of people here, but, you know, the alarm starts blaring. Um, and people start, you know, filing out of their offices. There's only a couple of them. Uh, there, this, There's two security guards on this floor. And uh, they kind of, like, usher everyone out and then leave themselves. Um, but... It's all orderly. No one really notices you. Um, you're able to... Well, I guess, w what is everyone else doing at this time? Like, how are you not getting spotted in this? I will hide under a desk. <laughs> I mean, I could, I could just cast a spell really, really quick. You could cast an invisibility spell, or you guys, or you could like lead a prowl group action. Those are kind I'll of do that. Two I will lead a prowl group action. That's that's what we'll do. Okay. Uh, I'm going to instruct everyone on. This isn't my first time breaking into some place. Come on, mm -hmm. I know where the best places are to hide. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, direct everyone where the sneakiest and most effective places are to hide. Okay. So everyone except Acton, because Acton's already taken care of. Go ahead and roll prowl. What uh, what position? Uh, this will be a little risky, I think. Cool. cool I cool, apologize cool. for what's about to happen. Yeah. I know, same. And Mouse is going to take some stress is what's going to happen. <laughs> let's do it. Six. Okay. Um, hold on, here I go. Am I not roll? Holy shit! Oh, shit. we rolled really Did we well. get sixes? Oh, I rolled a five. Oh, I rolled a three. Yeah. Oh, but I take the lowest result, so I take a five. But mm -hmm. still. 
Uh, so yeah, um, so Mouse takes one stress for covering for Ed's three, uh, but overall you guys get a six. It's fine. Well done. Um, so yeah, so you're able to kind of like basically avoid everyone as they're filing out. Uh, you maybe like walk around a bit. Um, I don't know, hide under a desk or something like that. And, uh, yeah, pretty soon the third floor is completely evacuated. Okay, then we rush those servers. Bishop's like, okay, which one do I yank out? (laughs) All right. So you're going to rush towards the uh, server room. Uh, You guys aren't even worrying about the the cameras at this point, right? Right. Uh, Depends. What is the clock at? (laughs) The clock hasn't ticked up yet. So okay. like literally once we steal the servers, we're fine because it's being served here temporarily and they'll get uploaded. But if we yeah. steal the servers, then they, they can't get, get uploaded. I'm going to say, Bishop, get the get that door open. <laughs> OK. Uh, OK. So uh, um, you go, you Ooh. come to uh, the door to the security room uh, and it seems apparently someone wink wink thought a security upgrade was in order uh the door to the security room is made of a heavy reinforced steel and it is locked with a nearby optical scanning device now the question is how Uh, are you going to get past that well if you want i can i have access to find demolition tools (laughs) and and a dot of wreck hey bud wait 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 wait. what were you saying again it's pretty it's not a bad idea (laughs) And I, you know, the, that backpack I have with me, I uh, I just so happen to have brought Buzzbot, who is, uh, he specializes in close combat as well. So you have a security, gonna- so to review, you have a security door that's made of reinforced steel. There's the, the, the typical way to get through it would be using one of those optical scanning device things. You know, the thing where you put your, like, your eye up to it and, like, it scans your retina or something like that. And it sounds like Ed is suggesting that you either blow the door open or buzzsaw the way the door open using Ooh, let's, not, let's not do those things. I have an go idea. Ahead. Oh, okay, you go. Then I'll say my- oh. Okay. Well, I would have known about this, right? Because I, I researched. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We can flash back, guys. We don't have to worry about it right now. We can flash back to getting a fake eye or something to or so putting on, our eyes in the system nick we're on the same page because Ooh. like don't forget like my my contact works here so we could flash back to us getting like re- like a, a high res image of his eye and then using like a fake eye with <gasps> this guy on it or i like rebecca's idea of just putting one of us in it right before but, right 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 before, I disagree with that because they already no, know what I look like. I don't need Ash, to know what my eye looks Ash, like. Ash, listen to me. It wouldn't be your eye, though, because you read Nusters. Also, right, so right before we go, we, we can flash back to right before we, 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 we get into the um, – step into the door to get here. I can upload one of our eyes into the system. Once we, st- once we get in there, we, we steal the stuff, including our eyes in the system. Okay, I'm I'm more okay. With I'm this nervous, part. but okay, yeah. The Ash, I like your plan about Jason, but the thing <laughs> is, then Jason looks like he went to the server room right before all the servers got lifted during a fire alarm, <laughs> and then the, he's gonna be like, "Wow, it's weird. I wonder how that happened. I wonder. <laughs> well, you know, I should talk to my friend Acton about it." I was, I was on the same eye. page as Nick because we were stealing the servers that had that had the records on it. But yeah. True. Oh yeah, I guess in either case we're stealing all the servers. No um, evidence. So I'm gonna I'm gonna upload um, uh, Bishop's eye into the system. Okay. Mass, no, not your own eye. Huh? Was like, not you're not, your own eye. your own. Mouse is not gonna do that. No. <laughs> Why? Unless it's completely safe, Mouse. Mouse is like Bishop has three thousand selfies on Facebook. Her eyes are already everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't gonna be a big deal. What's one more? I love the idea that it's 3,000 selfies. Yeah. Uh, So I imagine this is a tinker roll, Eric? It is. Um, This will be risky, and you'll be down to standard effect because uh, you're basically working against Trench here. 
uh, and he has right, all the right. same tools and all the same things as you do. Who right. is this trench? I'm going to fight him. We'll, 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 we'll get to that. Um, I feel like he's the Will Wheaton in leverage. Nick. That's exactly what he is, yes. Damn right. <clears throat> Uh, I should watch that standard show. Standard effect, one bonus die. Let's do this. Oh my god, I'm, so, I'm nervous. Are you happy Six. that I made you the hardest of them? <gasps> Look how good those rolls are. No, don't I got a six. It. Very good. All right, with standard effect, uh, you start to do it. Fill and then two I think... slots on that upload. Uh oh. I think what Bishop does is as soon as she like puts her eyes to the thing, she like tells Steven and, and Mouse to go get the servers because she has no freaking clue what those are. And then she goes and finds a door to do the chalk sigil on. One moment. Uh, right. this, uh, this upload isn't oh, completed. No. This is, this is going to take a long task because this is oh. a contest between Mouse and Trench. So <sighs> you get through his first couple of layers of security, but it's not uploaded quite yet. And we could have already been God, to the door. Got it. <laughs> so I just need to do it already again. Already blown it open. Yeah, do it again. Wait, didn't you say it was glass walls? Yeah. Except are... not, not here. Oh, okay. <laughs> that would be bad security to be like, look at this steel door and these glass windows. You can see everything inside. Mm -hmm. All right. Here's my second roll. Oh, gosh. Oh my god. Six again. Six again. Oh my god. All right. In the same, in, last it was 565. This is 465. That's right. wild. <laughs> I guess your dice are just on fire this time. Uh, yeah. What's that like? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You hack through. You put Bishop's eye in the system, uh, and the door slides open neatly uh, for the rest of you to go inside. Uh, Bishop, did you just want to stay out here or? Um. Actually. So the steel door is a door, or is it a slidey door? It's a slidey it door. Let me go find, like, a closet. <laughs> Why are you not going or in? Should we just do the server? We should just do the servers. Yeah, I'll go in, and uh, I'll do a chalk sigil on the inside of the server room, just in case we ever have to get that. The doc puts away his demolition tools, sadly. <laughs> I'm sorry, bud. There, there the may be time for it. We'll see. Can I... I was saying, I imagine this is the bit where Actus will, like, runs back to them and, like, out of breath. <laughs> sure, yeah. You can catch up at that point. <gasps> oh, you're already through the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. All right. The server room <laughs> itself is made up of rows and rows of racks of delicate computer machinery, all of them secured behind a heavy iron security cage with a standard turnkey lock on it. Uh, they're all bolted into their racks, and then, before you even get to them being bolted into their racks, there are steel bars, like, barring them them off that you have to unlock, uh, presumably with a key or something else. Um, the machines themselves blink, blink rhythmically, uh, and there's an almost deafening hum of the temperature control system. If you've ever been in a, in a server room, it's like yeah. this droning wah yeah. sound. It's super also, dry as well. Also, I imagine it's exceptionally cold right now. Yeah. Yeah, it is a little <laughs> chilly. Because <laughs> it's dry and cold. <laughs> um, so would we know who has the key? Um, <clears throat> like the chief or something like that? Probably. Lieutenant? Yeah, probably like a like, lieutenant. It would be the, the head of IT or something, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would like, be the head. Um, yeah. Hmm. yeah, the head of well, IT has one. <clears throat> and I would say, like, again, like, talking as, like, from a public here, it's, there's going to be more than one key. The security is not going to be a top notch here. <laughs> but remember, um, they called so, in a consultant to tighten things up. Yeah. So that, do we wanna, it, that still wouldn't matter. <laughs> do we want to, do we want to flash back to what, to one of us, to us stealing the keys from someone? Well, I have a question. Um, okay. Steven, your, your spider bots, are they like, <laughs> Good at picking locks because if you could just yeah send oh, a fleet of them yeah. to pick all of the locks they're not oh, I man. mean <laughs> they can shoot the locks they are Whoa. nimble aren't they uh they That's have not, you, stop gunfire they have nimble and ranged weapons yeah I'd count nimble as them being okay at picking locks then they are okay at picking locks. 
I, I just will think out, though, even, if like, my wrong. memory serves, they are. Oh no! Oh yeah, they are impaired currently. Also, alternatively, <laughs> I'll point out that uh, all of you should have burglary gear, burglary gear on your list, uh, and some people should at least have finesse. Yeah, I have another I mean, idea. I have yeah. finesse. I'm really good at picking locks. Hey guys, I'm also I, I good have at picking locks. I have another I... idea. What, what? If, what if we what if we use the buzzsaw bot and just saw past the door? Okay. Like, well, saw, I, I have down the car, this, like like saw around the key part of the door, so it just slides open without ever having to do with the key. I'm not against it, but I have more of a finesse way of doing it. Is why don't we just use a lockpick gun, like the little bump guns that you just put in a lock press and it just like rams open the, the thing? Do we? Can well, to be that? fair, that's pro if, for burglary gear. That's probably what Steven has. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that then. That sounds okay. better. Yeah, I have, I have, I have, <laughs> I have a high finesse as well. So I do, I do too. I've uh, broken into <clears throat> my own car slash apartment many times. Yeah, I have as high as I can physically get without <laughs> us getting mastery. Okay, <laughs> like I can't get four without mastery. <clears throat> All right. Let's go ahead and pick a lock. Um, so okay. this will be limited effect because it's a higher tier than you. But, uh, what uh, position? Um, I'm going to say the risk here is how much time it takes and that it jams eventually. So, um, And also there's just like droning noise in the background. So it's risky. Okay. Uh, and it's a limited effect? Limited effect. Okay. If I already have limited effect for my whiplash, do I... Yes. I thought Ed was rolling this. Yeah. Oh, I, I was... never mind. Sorry. Go for it. So, can I ask a question? Like, do we know? Which, like, so we're in a server room. There are too many servers here to steal all of them. Do we know which ones we need? Nick. All of them. We're stealing all the servers. Yeah, that's the whole point. How many are there? There's a Probably. lot. It'll take a while. How many racks? I was expecting like three, maybe four racks. No, dude, it's a server. Like, it's we're in a server farm. It's a police headquarters, well, so. Oh, Jesus. Probably a let, lot. Me, let me think of my work. In a major metropolitan area. Eight, well, then, guys, eight racks, I think. Probably like six blades each. I think the answer here is that we steal what we can, and then I use my demolition tools to <laughs> remove the rest from the existence of the earth. No, no, that's, <laughs> not, that's the thing. If we can't that steal, is not, if we can't steal all of them, then that means we're leaving some, which means that we leave the fact that we were here. Like we don't know what, what, like where our information is being stored. We, like we don't know on which one it's being stored. That's so yeah, the, I agree. That's any the whole ones point. That, any ones, any ones that we can't steal, we destroy. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay, so uh, actually, can I can I do this as leading a finesse roll? Um, I think that would give you technically worse odds, or okay. no, 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 it would give yes. you better odds, but you'd take more stress. Sorry, I I have stress to spare. I'm only sitting at three stress right now. I have a three in finesse, so I'd, like it would, yeah, that would. I I have nothing in finesse. Okay, That's so okay. May, so maybe maybe Acton doesn't get involved. <laughs> I I also have nothing in finesse. So so maybe I lead a, a, a finesse action. With Bishop, okay. or I, yeah. ju I just assist, like while we're breaking into yeah the thing. Yeah. What I imagine is, is while you two are opening the cages, like after you open a cage, like I go in and I like start pulling them out while uh, Nick starts with the other person. So like we're working as a pair. You start unbolting them. Yeah, because they're also bolted in. Yeah, yeah. I'm not like I don't mean physically pulling them out. I meant like I'm taking them off. You know, okay. how are they, how are they bolted in? Um, they're screwed. They're probably yeah. like screwed in to a rack, like not with oh. like a standard screwdriver, but like you know, like actual like bolts. Hex nuts. Hex nuts. I, yeah. I I have fine mechanics tools. So what if here's what happens? Steven goes through and pick, lock picks the locks. I go be behind him, unbolt them, and then mouse and acting go behind us and start yanking things out. Okay. Yes. Would that still be leading a finesse roll, or would that be s separate rolls? Um, because the I, I think the finesse roll is just me picking the locks, right? Yeah. Um, trying to think of the best way to do this. Uh, is it not also Rebecca unscrewing the thing or unbolting it as finesse? 
Yeah, that would work. Yeah, um, because it's two. I, it's two clocks. One to pick the locks, and another to unbolt things. So uh, probably two separate. Yeah, and people could assist Rebecca with the unbolting. Um, um, so I think, I think while they are doing all of this, um, and and Acton can assist them. Um, I think I'm going to go and try to find like a like a mail cart or something that we can put everything on. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. I mean, it's like they've got to have those somewhere in the police on this floor, right? You, you would think. Yeah, sure. Um, All right, so I'm just rolling uh, finesse myself then, right? Yeah. Okay. Rolling now. Oh, God. Five. Five. Five is good. That's good. Five. Um, it only takes you one tick of time. <clears throat> oh, but it was risky, right? Yeah, that that's the consequence. Okay. Two side. All right. One, and you'll fill in two slices on that pie. Which pie? Uh, the lock picking pie. Okay. So I don't think I don't think it's labeled for us. Yeah. Oh, it's not. It's not showing up as labeled for you. No. You no. Make sure you guys there's can see a, that. There's also one down here that's just nothing labeled. It, okay. Let me. It's just a one. Let me do that. I bet that's a Lauren. No, we have because alert is here. Go. Oh, time to upload. Okay. Um, oh. oh, so we're fine. Um, so okay. should I keep lock picking then? Uh, let's have Rebecca do her unbolting because you. Oh, where says okay. you unbolt the first one? She you un unlock the first one. She goes in and starts unbolting things. Okay, so um, this would be risky. What do find mechanics tools do? Does that give me a better position? Yes. Or um, you, you would be limited because of your um because you because of your neck and then limited because of the tier. Uh, and like nothing because of the tier, um, but your fine mechanics tools will get you back up to limited. Okay, so and, just risky limited. Yeah, and Acton, uh, you could help out. You could give like a plus one to the roll if you want by taking a stress. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Okay. Then so I get a bonus dice. Mm -hmm. Basically, I'm like making Acton hold my tools. I'm still very cold to Acton, but. <clears throat> Here. If He's you want another of... intimacy, you could make it desperate. <laughs> do it. Do it. Uh, it's desperate. Well, you know what? I have a three in finesse. Yeah, let's do desperate. Let me cancel. Okay. okay. So we get okay. Intimacy. <laughs> could, I just, could I just say the two times we've used um, and they've both been against Acton, does that increase our clock at any, any point? Um, I will take the remind me of that at the end of the score and I will take okay, that yeah. into account. Okay, and I get one bonus die. How? Four <laughs> dice. Four <laughs> dice, and I get a four. I mean, four's not that bad. Yeah. Just, just a, it was desperate, though. A four is still you do it. Desperate uh, limited. But there's a consequence. You suffer severe harm. A serious complication occurs. You have reduced <laughs> effect. Um, yeah, I, I, I had a plan for this. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I God, walked right no. into it. Rebecca, do you want to use the intimacy, trap card. the intimacy we just got to re-roll? Can I do that? Um, you could do that. Um, also, you can always uh, resist the consequence uh, that I'm yeah. about to give you, etc. Et resist! Resist! Let me hear the consequence. I have five uh, stress remaining, but I need to save two of those for when we leave. <clears throat> so... So what it, what it will be is as you're unbolting these things, um, Acton's kind of helping you out, like adjusting things, uh, but he doesn't notice that there is a certain red wire, a certain plug attached yeah. to these as you're unplugging them, uh, that as it's unplugged, um, starts to trigger the alarm. So this is going to tick up the alert level. Uh, Why are you going to do acting like this? <laughs> Wait, what? Three? Three ticks, because it's desperate. Oh, shit. That'll take um, you to almost activated. Can she let resist me, it? I can, can resist. resist it. Yeah, let me go ahead and resist that. That would be a, that would be a prowess <laughs> resist, right? Wait, does, does she have to resist this, or can anyone resist Acton, because you're technically a part of this, um, you could resist it for her. I'll also remind you I guys... So what it will be, the resistance roll will be uh, prowess. Um, I'll also remind you guys that if you want to, you could try and spend some intel to get a bonus die. 
Uh, we Rebecca, should definitely me, do you that. Need, you need to keep the stress. Let me uh, let me do this. Okay. Hold on, hold on, right. hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How many initial dots do you have in prowess? Three. You have three dots in prowess. Not in any one thing. Like the the before no, the launch. I have prowl, skirmish, and wreck. Yeah, he's oh, good. Oh, nice. Then yeah, you should absolutely be the one to do yeah. this. Yeah. I'm the prowess guy. <laughs> well, I have two, so. I have two. Get up off your high horse. What accent was that? Uh, that was uh, Banji. Sure. Okay, uh, I'm gonna <laughs> do this. Do I? I saw. Uh, is it three stress and I take a prowess check? And do you want to spend an intel to get one more die? Yeah, I'm just trying to think what that intel would be. <clears throat> we, we, know, it's, 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 we were informed that there was yeah. some sort of a wire-based alarm system <laughs> on the racks. I don't think it's actually necessary if Ash has three in the th three dice already. Oh yeah, and, and worst case scenario, he could always spend an intimacy to reroll it. Yeah, and like and it's only going to damage his stress, that. and I don't think he's in desperate need of stress right now, right? All right, we're we're just doing. Okay, we're gonna stop talking about it. Well, you said something about spending three stress. You don't need to do that yet, Acton. Oh right. Well, uh, yeah, I did it. three. You, you actually uh, you take four. two stress. So you take two four? stress. Oh yeah. Two stress. But, yeah, but the stress. alarm doesn't go off. That's true. No. <sighs> he, I imagine, like, Acton, like, grabs uh, Bishop's arm, like, don't, don't, don't cut that wire. Don't touch that wire. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, let's go back to uh, lock picking for Ed. Okay. Oh, God. I'm so nervous. Further lock picking. <laughs> And it's still Stop risky, right? My favorite manual. Still risky. Okay. Uh, standard effect or limited? Um, limited. Okay. And no bonus dice. Four again. Four. Okay. Oh, no, I got five last time, but this time it was only a four. Yeah. Um, the time, it takes you longer. <clears throat> Half of your time has now elapsed, unless you want to resist that consequence. Oh shit! And you fill in another piece of the pie. I'm on the uh, on the the roll twenty app, so I can't Wait. see all the clocks. Can um can someone tell me what the what the uh, um, lock picking and unbolting clocks are at? Lock picking's at halfway, so three out of three, uh, three out of six. Unbolting is at one out of six. Um, Eric, <clears throat> it, with whiskey, four and five are the same result. Yeah, I know. Uh, wait, um, should Steven resist that? What am I, what am I resisting? There's the, nothing to resist. The, the, the time oh. it takes to upload, so you could potentially oh, okay. resist that. Um, do you have, do you, do you have, a, do you have enough stress? Yeah, I only have three left? stress. I'll, I'll resist. Okay. Uh, no bonus dice, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I take one stress. Oy. One stress, nice. Okay, very good. You managed to speed. You managed to take it up a notch at the at the last minute, uh, and fill in half of this lock picking. Uh, half of the racks are now unlocked. You want to unbolt some more, bit some more, Bishop? Yeah, um, I'm debating pushing myself. I know it's too stressed, but um, would pushing myself? I mean, it'll help me with my dice roll, so maybe I could get. You could also push yourself for greater effect. You could also spend intel for greater effect as well. Well, with acting and helping I, you, you're already rolling four dice, aren't you? Then, yeah, then let me push for... Let me... Wait, what's your finesse at? Three. Okay. okay. I, but I want to push for greater effect because I'm only at one filled circle, and I want to... Oh, that's a good point. So you just get standard effect instead of limited. Right. So that it's not like me just filling in one slice of the pie every single time. Um, and that's with the success. So, e yeah. Can I spend... So if I'm spending intel, mm -hmm. is that gr the group's intel? It's not like my... Right. No, it's the group's. It's the group's. It's a, stared, it's a shared stash. But it's fine. We're going to get... We're going to get... Probably get some intel. Okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and do that then. Okay. So. Um, and I guess the justification for this is like... Maybe you practiced on server racks like this. Um, you were prepared for this. 
and you know in a flashback <laughs> you spent some time like getting your time up and quickly doing this as as doing this as quickly as possible sound good <laughs> i imagine mouse took their server racks and like set them up as like an obstacle course we did like yeah. speed with like me and my screwdriver i just love the flashback exactly of what you I'm guys imagining. practicing doing this and then flashing <laughs> to the moment we have our laser tag arena like it's i mean we gotta use it for something i like okay. it so this is risky still mm -hmm. and but i have standard effect mm -hmm. and acting you're helping again i of course am helping okay Boop, boop, boop. All right, I'm hitting it. I can't look. A six! Woohoo! Nice! Fill oh, that clock! I'm so sorry. Fill that clock! All right, two more ticks. Wait, were you doing that to move oh, that box to by Extreme Makeover Home Improvement? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize what I was quoting until you said that, and now I. Also, Home Edition, quote. not Home Improvement, actually. <laughs> uh, okay, um, real quick, Mouse, do you want to give me, uh, let's see probably actually a hunt roll to find that uh that bin you were looking for that mail bin like it's not going to be hard this will be controlled <laughs> but hunt yeah why not <laughs> or survey <laughs> what, what do you uh, think well, i have more hunt. i have hunt I'll, I'll do hunt okay um wait should it be should it be hunt or should it be a fortune roll to make sure there is one? Oh yeah we could just do a fortune roll for it I feel like that makes more sense. All right. Um, I feel like it's pretty likely, so that's probably a fortune roll of two dice. If you want to go ahead and do that. Okay, where is that on this thing? I always forget. I think it's on the sheet somewhere. Fortune. There it is. I, I, found, I found it. It's, it's, it's at the bottom. Yeah. I found it. Uh, two dice? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Please be a good roll. Uh, yeah. Six. 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 Fine. All right. Yeah, you yeah. find you find an em, an empty mail cart uh, and start rolling it and uh, roll it back to the server room as they've uh, managed to unlock and uh, unbolt a bunch of the um, server racks. Imagine Mouse just starts loading them in, probably. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay. I'm not going to make you do a clock for that, but we'll just be assuming that's what Mouse is doing. Okay. Are we are we actually being an effective team for a change? Why know, would you really jinx weird. it? Why would you jinx it? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking I was thinking it earlier, but I didn't want to say anything. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, you guys want to pick some more locks? Actually, you know what? Steven's going to say that out loud. He's going to say, "Wow, everything's going really easily." And all of us just yell at you. No. No! <laughs> yep, I'm a roll of finesse. Um, did you say I can use Intel to increase the effectiveness? Yes. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'm going to spend one Intel. Mm -hmm. to, Again, to... you've practiced this. You practiced on this kind of lock. <laughs> yep. He joined. <laughs> he joined okay. me in my obstacle course. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, five. <laughs> but five, but standard effect. Okay. Very good. Um, do to do to do, do, do. I know how to do this. All right, that'll take it up too. You're almost there. Um, oh my god! But then my again, heart there's is the like racing. there's the consequence of this upload. Oh. It's going to take up I'll twice. Read. Go ahead. Six. Nice. Oof. No stress. Easy breezy. No stress. Stress level zero. Very good. All right. Uh, let's unbolt some more server racks. Okay. Um, do I get... That intel was just for that roll, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Should I push myself or use... How much more intel do we have? You have four. Do you guys mind if I use another one? No, go for it. I feel like I've taken a lot from the crew today. <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to get a good amount of intel as a result of this. So Yeah, as long as yeah, we keep that upload <laughs> down. Okay, so that puts me back at limited. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's raining. And hey guys, I just realized if we lockpick and unbolt, if we fill this, that's literally us taking every single rack. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. <clears throat> Call Rebecca. And is Acton still helping me? I get another bonus uh, size? Yeah. 
If he spends okay. another stress, then yeah. If he spends another stress. We've yeah, only been doing this. In, it's only been 20 minutes, guys. <laughs> Woo! Okay, I got a five. Okay. I think um, I think technically your effect is standard. Let me just do it again. Um, minus one. Because it was limited two, for whiplash. Plus, yeah, minus one for whiplash, minus one for tier, plus one from tools, plus one from intel takes you to zero, so standard. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's okay. Um, I'll just count it as standard. No, you don't need to re-roll. Okay. Um, <laughs> Thank you. My heart can't take it. <laughs> but you did get a five, so the alert is going to tick up. Um, okay. I will resist that. Okay. Um, but you guys, this is the only thing I can resist, Wait, really. What, how much is it going to tick up by? It'll tick up by two. I think we're fine. Rebecca, I think two on the alert is fine. Okay. Yeah. The time is the one that I'm worried about. Alert, I'm not so worried about. We're only at one tick on time to upload. We're fine. Okay. 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 All right, you guys are almost I'm done. Oh okay, my god, we're so close, you guys. Time to turn that last tumbler. Risky. Mm -hmm. uh, limited effect. Mm -hmm. No bonus dice. Boom. Five. 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 And I will, I'll roll to resist for the alarm. Mm -hmm. I take one. Five. Stress. Nicely done. You have finished lockpicking these. Oh, Boom. okay. I'm going to start planting C4. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why? You, you, you got no, them all. Was, you don't need no, to. I'm, 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 I'm aware, but I want, I, I want the police to believe that these were destroyed, not stolen. Oh, that's, that's not a bad idea. It, that's what set the fire alarm on. Was, was the beginnings of this explosion. Um, oh, can I... No, can oh, I, can guys, I'm really sick of us again. <laughs> guys, I just want to say, like, explosion sounds like it's going to, like, damage the structural integrity of the building. We're on so the third floor. We're on the, third, we're on the top it's floor. A, it's, it's a... Explosions go out in every direction. Well, there are small, tiny explosions, and there it's are. Okay. That's what I was saying. So let's be careful with the amount of C4. <laughs> Acton, Acton, it's okay. I'm a doctor. I just no, imagine Acton not. like sees the C4 come out, and he's like, "Wait, wait, 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 wait. What, what, what are you doing? Yeah, be careful. What, what are you?" Stephen doing? just looks over at him. Just, it's okay. It's okay. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. <laughs> Mouse wheels the thing in. M Mouse is just putting the thing to the thing. It's like, again, says, no, you're not. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay. Finish this on uh, uh, Rebecca. Okay. I just got disconnected from, this, from a Roll20 server for some reason. Oh, what? Uh, so just a heads up, that might happen to you guys too. Oh, I'm back in. Okay, cool. That's weird. Okay. I think I'm yeah, okay. Yeah, very, very weird. Okay, Acton, how much stress do you have? Because it, I, I don't think I need your bonus dice if you want to. I have three, it. three spare stress. You know what? I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna carry this weight. Okay. All right. Because it, so it's risky Rebecca, standard. We need your stress. Uh, it'll be right, risky limited, but you only need one more thing. It's risky limited. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's right. Because I'm not using Intel, but I think we're, we're okay. No can bonus I, dice. Can, can I aid her? You're planting C4. Oh, that's true, I am. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. I have a three in finesse, y'all. She says and rolls all ones now. I know. Oh, a six! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Oh my Very god. Very good. <laughs> she does the thing. You do the thing. The last yes, Julie. Uh, blade of the rack slides out. Uh, nice and neat. You hand it over to Mouse, who loads it up in this mail cart. All right, let's plant some C4. Okay, I'm I'm assuming finesse. Um, you can finesse or tinker, either one. Um, can I use wreck <laughs> to help? I'll, I'm gonna finesse this. <laughs> I just I'm, meant like technically it's gonna be wrecking the. It is. Yeah. I don't have anything finesse. Yeah. Um, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's my position? Um. Missionary probably. Probably. I mean, we're not really under a time crunch because literally at this point, there's no time to upload doesn't matter anymore because there's nothing to upload. Mm -hmm. um, um, and and I'm not I'm not funking with uh, that's true. Weird stuff. 
So it's, it's it, there's not really any alarm to go off at this point either. Uh, yeah, so really the only risk is that you blow everyone up. So, still yeah, risky. But... <laughs> okay. Can I, can I say, like, the only thing, like, uh, Acton behind him, and every time he leaves a piece of C4, Acton is going to be, like, taking pits of C4 away from it to make it a smaller explosion. <laughs> but on the... Okay, C4 is like Play-Doh until you, like, apply an electric spark. Uh, yeah. Anyway. But I do oh, have I fine demolition tools, so the, this is great effect. Yes. Which I'm excited about, guys. Okay, and uh, no bonus dice. I got a six. Nice. All oh, right. Shit. I do the thing. Guys, we're so effective. Shut up, Rebecca. Sorry. <laughs> what are you doing? And uh, I'll do another finesse roll just to finish this off. And really, really quick, while this is happening, can Rebecca be scrawling her chalk thing on top of oh, the Oh, yeah. 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 Do, do, Rebecca, do your roll um, for your thing. I don't think I have to roll. I just spend much stress <clears throat> to inscribe a chalk sig sigil over the door. I yeah. just said sigil. Yeah, it's okay. it's fine. You just and do then, it. Okay. Yeah, and like the, the moment that we're ready, Rebecca will open that. We'll all run through. and Yeah. Yeah. That'll be that. I cannot stress enough. I can't hold this door open very long. We have to throw ourselves through it. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Um, oh, wait. You know what? If we're not coming back here, I don't even have to make this door because we have a door to the black site. Oh, you're right. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So actually, let's not do that. So you just open a door. Yeah, I just open a okay. random door. So actually, so while that's happening, you guys can just open the door and get stuff through while I'm finishing up the C4. Uh, again, can't uh, like, hold that door open very long. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Like, that's fair. So, do we do all the the servers sit on one like on the, on the, on one mail rack, or do we need to come back for a second? The, it, it's fine. It'll they'll all fit. Okay, I'll all hold right, cool. some of them. Throw them back. Yeah, no, like I've got something like pockets and. <laughs> how what? How how big how, do you think these blades are? What the blades are? That's fair. They're like, they the size of, they're like the size of a VCR. <laughs> I have yeah, and pockets. I can hold several VCRs under my arms. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, it's fine. okay, so I'm rolling. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I only got a four. Okay. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Do, 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 do. Let's assist that police investigation, shall we? You mean the uh, one that's about to completely go away? <laughs> It's <laughs> a good point. Because you're stealing all their shit. Yeah, they have no, they have nothing on us anymore. They, 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 they don't, they don't not even have any information. They literally have nothing on us after this. Also, I just realized, like, as much as, like, as much as Acton is a is a criminal, he's also an ex police officer, and like we've taken, we've taken their personnel files. We have essentially now. Just demolish Toronto PD. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> crime is about to go way, way up. Um, okay. Oh shit! I mean, it was that or like blow you up in some way. Well, I can I mean, resist, right? That's true. You can. <clears throat> okay, um, I'll resist. You, I was gonna say you could actually have someone come in. I'll, I'll also, resist it. Ash, okay. there's a pretty, there's also a pretty good chance that they have all uh, that they have most of this stuff or all of it, uh, except the, the more recent stuff backed up offsite, just in case. I would hope so. One would so hope. But they are Canadian, so we're probably not like completely bankrupting them. We're just, you know. Oh shit! Oh. Okay. I am. My stress is full. If I take oh. one more, I get in trouble. Okay. That's fine. But, we're leaving. But that fills up the 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 C4 planting. Okay. Uh, Rebecca, Ooh. Bishop opens the door, I presume. Yep. And y'all uh, pile through. Stress. <laughs> well, hold on. Steven reaches into his into his uh, pack and pulls out the only body actually brought with him. Mm -hmm. a, spy a, uh, a, a, a broken spider bot. Mm -hmm. And he sets it down and he sets the trigger down next to it and he walks through the door. <laughs> you know what I to do. <laughs> I, th I, know, I think you know what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you step through the door. And uh, I, I'm i the last person through the door. I close the door. And then I have my spider bot remotely press the trigger. Okay. Kaboom. So that way, so that way there, we, there is no way we could possibly be affected by it physically. Because the doorway is shut. Emotionally, though. 
I yeah. love that spider bot. <laughs> it's okay. He was broken anyways. I was going to make a new hey, one. Jeez. Even, the even like the sad music plays. Still matter. There's a I reason why I don't put faces on them. You. <laughs> I love the idea that like in the cinematic, like like we all walk through and the camera pans back to him and it just slowly zooms in and you just see him tap and there's just an explosion. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I imagine like like way. like it pans back to him, the spider taps, and then like it it cuts back to the black 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 site and like in the very very background noise you hear a muffled boom. <laughs> yeah, like, as like the magic is like it. wilting off the door. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> that went very smoothly for you guys. I am in Holy crap. crap. See what happens My when you work as racing. a team. It's great. I don't like it. That was good, guys. It makes the that dream work. Good. Okay. And everyone got to do their thing. We got an explosion. <laughs> we got some... No, some no, 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 don't lie. I didn't get to punch anyone. <clears throat> okay, I'm sorry. Do you want to um, punch? Not me. Really, really quick, I'm going punch. to... There's one thing that I'm going to flash back to. <laughs> of Why course. Are you doing this? <laughs> okay. And, and that is, while they're doing all of this stuff, um, I think Mouse had uh, set up ahead of time a, uh, a message to be sent out just as they uh, left the, <gasps> the police station. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's a message to Trench that is just a mouse emoji and says, nice try. Oh, snap. Nice. I like um, it. Wait, are we doing downtime now? Because I've really got to pick yeah, we're going to go into that time, so yeah. take a bye break. Right we'll be back in five minutes. Well done. Woo! I'm really happy with how that all went, guys. That went really well. I'm very impressed with us. <laughs> I cannot believe. Can you believe? All right, so now that there's a bio break and it's probably going to get cut out, I'm going to eat some more food. Ah. Eat that taco. Eat it. Guys, I'm excited. Oh, so... I, I can say this because Sandra is, uh, she clocked into work two minutes ago. I have set up a scavenger hunt Easter egg hunt for Sandra for tonight. That's so where, sweet. Where I'm hiding eggs around the apartment and one egg leads to the other, leads to the other, leads to the other. Aww. And the very last thing she's going to find is a box that I got yesterday from uh, Albany's which is a, a candy company and it, it contains 10 pounds of sugar-free gummies. Oh my God. 10 pounds. Two five pound bags. Holy shit. Uh, also for a minute there, I thought you were, you were going to say a ring and I was like, don't tell us about your proposal. Oh no, we're already engaged. Oh, like, okay. we're basically married. Like, we've been, we've been engaged for like six years. We've been together for eight. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay, she was back. Back again. Ashes back. Tell mm. men. Rub my back. Rub my back. Rub my back. <laughs> rub my back. Do you say broke my back or rub my back? Rub my back. Oh. It's a reference to a Slim Shady song. In fact, it's a reference to the the song that he wrote, parodying his other song. Sorry, this is probably. Really microphone i'm just near the ipad <laughs> there you are. i'm about to eat as well oh my god this, these nachos are so good oh my I'm, ex nachos. I'm excited because oh. i'm making uh eastover dinner tonight as well oh my gosh oh that's eastover good. that's cute so we're doing ham <laughs> and i'm making what's called barrecus which is I do not know. It's uh, puff pastry that's oh. grated over a filling of ground beef, pine nuts, salt, pepper, and cumin. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. I would eat this. It is so stupidly good. And then you brush the top with, with beaten egg and, and you top it with sesame seeds. Heck, yeah. It is stupidly good. What's it called? Barrecas? Barrecas. B-O-U-R-E-C-H-A-S. Alright, I'm going to look that up. Make that sometime. Oh, sorry. B-O-U-R-E-K-A-S. K-A-S. Okay. I, um... <laughs> I went out uh, yesterday 
uh, with a, a bunch of friends um, to a place called Borough Market. I don't know if anyone knows about it. Oh, you so, you lucky dog! I've always wanted to go. Yeah, well, well I work near Borough Market. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, it's great. I spend way too much money there. Um, <laughs> but we, we basically went there and I just bought a bunch of stuff. And we came home and we're like just played Jackbox all night and ate, ate it. Oh, um, did you uh, did you go to the Spice Mountain? Uh, no. Oh, sorry, not this time. But I, uh, we, um, I, I watched Sorted Food on YouTube, and they did an episode where they went to the they went to Borough Market, and Market. Spice Mountain looks so awesome. I um, there. So we went to uh, the Bread Ahead Bakery, which does the best bread I've ever had in my life, and they, also the best donuts I've ever had in my life. But do they make the donut? Do they make the bread there, or do they make the bread ahead of time? They, you son of a bitch! Fuck! <laughs> 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 I I I I let I laid down the truth the very first time you guys met me that I will never pass up an opportunity to pun. That's fair, but and still, I feel like I am. <laughs> I feel like I have kept that promise. You have. You have. Um, but no, so like we did the Brotherhead Bakery. I went to um, this cheese place and bought a couple of... Um, they want to know what a burrata is. Oh, yeah. Burrata is delicious. Yeah. Oh, they are amazing. Um, bought a couple of those with like some sun-dried tomatoes, like olives, like stuff with almond and like just really nice olives and stuff. And basically we just sat there eating like the, um, the you know, those tender jerks. Um, and, uh, yeah, sorry, uh, I'm just like sat around eating that and it was just the best. It was absolutely fantastic. I can't remember why I started that conversation. Is everyone back now? Is Nick back? Yeah, I'm just eating. Okay. You guys... oh, hold on. Let me get back to my computer and then. Okay. Crunch, crunch, crunch. I have a soft food, not a crunch food, so I'm going to eat. All right. Actually, give I me one up. second to go get something to drink. Very I closed back. up my nachos. We're good to go. <laughs> I just went to get something to drink. <sighs> oh, okay. Boy. I'm back in my spot. Excellent. <laughs> my boyfriend texts me like, hey, how's your day going or whatever? And I'm like, oh, we're playing Blades in the Dark and we're actually working really well together. And he's like, is that the Buffy one or the Urban Fantasy one? <laughs> <laughs> He plays games. He gets it. He gets mm -hmm. it. He's hip. He's about to start a dwarf uh, forge cleric. I'm like, that's a little, uh, a little predictive of him. He's a big fan of the forge and the dwarven people. Dwarf, 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 dwarf. <laughs> Dwarves are cool. Dwarves are good. <clears throat> <laughs> Okay, I'm back, and I have a half a gallon of iced tea. Right. Mm. Unsweet. <clears throat> I made a banana milkshake. Nice. Right. Okay. I have coffee. Oh. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> Let's do some payoff. Let's do some downtime. Yeah, so, pay me off. How this is going to work is you guys will get ten doobly doos, and you have different ways you can <laughs> split this up. You can so what now? Uh, uh, resources, okay. which you can split into coin or intel, or um, to uh, increase your standing with the Illuminati or the Collective, uh, because they both like getting uh, intel and surveillance data um, as a kind of okay. resource. So, so we got ten, right? Yeah, and you have ten to spend on all these things. Okay. Well, did we also? Guys? I was gonna say, did we also get two extra coin? That's true. We, so you got 12. because of tech dealer. We got twelve in all. Okay, so we effectively have twelve coin, 
that we can or, or either, whatever or or what no 12 coin or six intel because it's one intel no, no, per no. two coin no it's it, it, this is one to one ratio because you have oh. the intel and you have the coin it's just a matter of how, what you sell versus what you keep versus what you give to the other factions so basically Ed, uh, we have like 12 resources and we can yeah. decide if they if we want them to be intel or coin or whatever we decide now um i mean so my, my suggestion is take one coin each because we shouldn't take more than that well i can't i like physically can't if i take one if i take two then i will have too many coins i already have three coins guys what have you got three coins guys. i just haven't been spending them guys Yes, Nick. Mm -hmm. If we rank up with the Illuminati, if we get if, if we get if we get enough with them to rank up, we can get informants, which will give us plus one D to to, to gather information before every mission. Yeah, that's really nice. That'd that's be really, really good. good. We could also just get vouch because if we if we get vouch, then we could also start working towards co cover operation, which will give us minus one favor loss permission. Hmm. So on my Discord, I can't paste anything. Because because that's the thing is minus one favor loss permission that will prevent like that means like because I'm assuming the way we get favor loss is by doing missions for other factions. Yeah. So if we if we have cover operation, then we can more easily do missions for other uh, factions without damaging our standing with other factions as much. I will say, as a character, that appeals to Bishop, because Bishop, Bishop's a little bit of a centrist, where she's like, I just don't want to piss anybody off, because I want to work for everybody. Um, <laughs> so that, that appeals to me, character-wise. Um, I don't know, though. I'm also looking at, like, hospitals and clinics and switch tricks. Well, they're not buying. Yeah, they're, uh, they don't the buy anything, the unfortunately. Oh, yeah, it's basically we either give it to the Illuminati or give it to the Collective. Or we can and... give it to the Collective and get four rep. Which is not bad. That's a mm -hmm. huge amount of rep just That's away. Just right rep. away. Yeah. Um, if, but if who would we... So, sorry, real quick. If you're really set on the Lux Vitrix, I could see it as a plus one favor for them. Because they like to cover things up, and like oh, the and police have investigations into things that are supernatural, they'd want sure. those destroyed. So you could actually spend it with the Lux Vitrix as well, if you saw and actually you really liked. If we did Lux Vitrix instead of going to hospitals and clinics, official sanction you gain mm -hmm. plus one rep from any mission undertaken on behalf of a faction. So and since ninety nine percent of our missions so far have been on behalf of a faction. Yeah, that's basically a That'd free really rep good every mission. Also, it doesn't limit us. Office looks really good as well. <laughs> what is it? Uh, the logistical next one office. over as well. From Lux Vitrix, logistical office. During yeah. downtime, roll dice equal to your tier. You earn coin equal to the highest dice minus any status lost on your last mission. Oh, that's really good, guys. Yeah. I say we get yeah. Lux Vitrix. I like the hospitals and clinics one too, but that's also because yeah. I'm the medic. <laughs> But also because we get hurt a lot. Are, yeah. Things that are helpful to me. <laughs> um, I say we do with the official, the official sanction then. Mm -hmm. Give yeah, it to the Lux Vitrix and, and take the official sanction. The Lux Vitrix are expensive, though. You need how five to rank up with them. Oh, okay. And then we, we have 12, though, right? Mm -hmm. Oh. I mean, we could do, we could do official sanction... And mm -hmm. how much is it to rank? Well, no, it's 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 oh, so Illuminati's. Th oh, I'm seeing now. So Illuminati's three. Oh, I see. How Librarians that. is five. Collective is wow. Collective Wait. is only, is three. Luck Victrix is five, and the court is five. Okay, so I think let's spend five out of the twelve. Let's spend five. Get official sanction because that actually is pretty good. So get official sanction. Then, if Ed doesn't want to, I think three of us take um, a coin each. Because actually that'll come handy when you level up, because you need to spend coin. I was actually and thinking... the rest go oh. to Intel. 
I was actually thinking we do informants from Illuminati. We do um, rep from collective. We do official sanction from Lux Victrix, and then we just add one to our uh, Intel. I, I still if, think we need coin. Oh, well, the, um, we need 10 coin collectively, right? Yeah. I have three right now. Yeah, but the rest of us only have one, I think, because we spent it on the last one. Uh, I believe I have two. Hold on. I'm on the I, I have one. I have two. So that's six have right staff. there. Also, I would like to point out that as a downtime action, uh, wait. Is it one Intel's worth two coin, or...? It works both ways. So one t Intel is worth two coin, and one coin is worth two Intel? No, no, sorry. It, it, it's the other way around. So uh, you spend two coin to get one Intel. You can spend two Intel to get one coin. That's the, okay. that's the tax of the okay, conversion. Okay, so we, if we put one into Intel, then we functionally have two coins there. No. Nope. Yes. Because it'd be four Intel gives us two coins. Oh, right. Sorry, yeah. Too much math for me. So there's two there, and we have another six. So that leaves us with, uh, at, with that puts us at eight. How many do you have? One. Uh, Acton. You have one? So you have nine. So literally at that point, we would need one coin. Are you guys thinking about coin to rank up? Yeah. Um, I thought you needed more than that. Let me double check. You do it, but depending on your tier, I guess, I guess higher with every tier. Mm -hmm. Um, let me look. If, if, guys, if we don't have enough to get to ten, we don't need to worry about getting to ten. Yeah, um, that's why I was saying do because that's the thing because. Because if we give it to the Illuminati and rank up, we give it to the Collective and rank up, and we give it to the Lux Victrix, that's, then that means it's plus one rep for any mission undertaken on behalf of a faction, not plus, plus one dice to gather information before a mission, and on top of all that, we also get four rep. And we gain, we, we gain uh, an intel. That way it's like... I don't think it's a good idea to upgrade for all three of them. I think we need the money. We need the physical yeah. stuff. Okay, I, it's well, like, I feel like we're OPing without uh, getting, like, having enough resources later. Okay. Yeah, like, we need, we need to choose one to, to, to get the, to, to rank up, I think. Well, I think we should do two. I think we should do the official, the official sanction and the informants. <laughs> uh, which one's the one that uh, gives us four rank? That's the collective. I, I I'm okay with not doing that one. Yeah, and doing same. Either two. I agree. Because being being a higher rank is not necessarily. Well, I don't know. Okay, so let's that do that. That would, so leave us, do... that would leave us with what six left over. Uh, no, with... it would leave us with four. Four, four left over. So wait, so that's five. Uh, six, seven, eight. We've got four left over. So if Nick, if you and I take a then we've got well, except for Ed, we've got two coin, and then <clears throat> the rest go into Intel. So two two extra Intel. We use two coin, so you and me get one each to bump us up to equal, and then the rest of it will be used on Illuminati and Lux. I'm okay with this. <clears throat> You're okay with this? Yes. Yeah, I think so too. Rebecca, uh, my brain is like. Not mathing well, but yeah, if that adds up, that does. Okay. Oh, that'd be an interesting one. Um, kind of a weird thing, but yep. we're already, we already settled on it. Don't well, introduce new options. Just <laughs> relax, relax. This this might be this, I might be able to sway Mouse to my side on this. Uh, if we spend five coin to rank up with the court, no, then we can't. You can't do that can't. right now, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Damn. Sorry. I was thinking. No. <laughs> we agreed. We already agreed. All right. So let's take care of that real quick. Um, so a couple things happen. This police investigation burns down because you literally burned it down. So that goes Yay. down to zero. 
they're essentially yeah, starting over from scratch. Um, mm. So you are putting five into the Victrix and three into the Collective. Except actually, no, I've got to disagree with that because they, they won't be starting over from scratch because Mouse went to his rival and like basically said it was me that did that. So they already now have a lead. That's Mouse true. Is, okay. Tr Mal Trent does not know who Mouse is. No, but but they didn't know also, you were involved at all. And also, Trent is a criminal, so I don't I don't regret anything. <laughs> I regret nothing. <laughs> I regret nothing. <laughs> the, the... All I'm saying is is their consultant now knows Mouse. Mm-hmm. And maybe that'll come back, but there's a mechanical reason why that's happening, and I'll get into it, and I'm getting into it now. Okay. So you guys rank up with the, uh, you said the Lux of Victrix. So and your the status with them goes to one. And you're taking <clears throat> official sanction or four rep? Yep. Official, uh, official sanction. sanction. Okay. Let's fill that in. Um, and and then Illuminati. Um, you're ranking up with the Illuminati. Yep. Yeah. And We're forward, getting some performance. Okay. <clears throat> do eric i'm adding those things to our um yeah that's fine thank you thing. Okay. yep um, here to help so then nick and i are taking a coin. yeah you are taking a coin each and then you're getting two more <coughs> intel. yeah so your intel goes up to five and you guys do your coin yeah done okay. very good nice payoff very good Okay. Oh um, my god. Let's Sorry. move on to the heat. <laughs> or actually, l let me just say this first. So, why it was important that the police investigation burned down is that the Illuminati aren't thrilled that you caused property damage in their territory. So, it's not going to rank you down or anything. It's just going to cost you one point of favor uh, down their thing. So... Basically, Ooh. they're a little annoyed with you at this point. <clears throat> so one Oops. point of favor, does that mean it will cost us more to rank up next time? It'll cost you more to rank up next time. Or mm. if you lose another point of favor, you could rank down with them. Okay. All I was going to say is, actually, then why don't we take one less intel and bump that up to one more? And pay it off? So it's, yeah, pay it off. Yeah. Do you guys want to do that? Um, I'm fine. I'm fine well, with that. Remember, we were also planning on going covert operation next time. That we get minus one favor lost permission. Yeah. So it may, it, 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 may, it would probably be good to just pay this off now and get it done with. Because mm -hmm. we're going to be spending at least six next time. Okay. So I imagine, Bishop, you get uh, another call on your Lyft app. Uh, uh -huh. And you go pick up Marembe. <laughs> Uh, to do the drop, and she chastise, chastises you mildly for not checking with her before you blew up part of the Toronto HQ police station. Um, but she does thank you for all the intel that you have chosen to hand over to them. I think Bishop just uh, sheepishly kind of, oh, well, uh, you know, we, we did our best, you know. Mm -hmm. Not a, you know, sometimes we just got to do things our own way. And then she just, like, turns up the radio dial, like, very silly. <laughs> and she hands over um, a, a disc with a list of their informants that you guys can now call on. Ooh. So that's how that works. Bishop takes the CD to, like, put it in the thing. She's <laughs> the, like, no, no. This isn't even playing. Is this music, or? Or, <laughs> just kidding. I like that she had it a CD over and not a USB stick. Um... Yeah, because they're because a USB stick is you know could be hacked. <laughs> I don't People know. expect a USB stick. Yeah, I don't know. They're a little old school like that, I guess. Or maybe it's a USB stick. Who cares? Well, they are the Illuminati. Mm -hmm. They had it to you on like mini days. <laughs> All right, so that's your payoff. Let's get into some heat. So. I do think that oh, this... Eric. Uh huh. Nothing. Never mind. Right. Okay. So, um, while I'd be inclined to do smooth and quiet, I do think 
the bang at the end makes it a little bit of contained. And also, you did just like steal a bunch of stuff from the yeah. police, so it's going to generate. And, and Mouse left their calling card. Yeah, and Mouse left their account, their calling card. So, so you start at two, and then this is a high profile target. Um, and uh, what the cops? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it isn't exactly hostile turf because you are on the Illuminati's territory. So that'll be a total of three heat generated from this mission. Let me go ahead and put that on there. One, two, three. Eric. Mm-hmm. Are we called the Rooks because of Persona Five by the? Maybe. Why? Why? I don't get are the we... connection. Are we? Never mind. No, it's fine. In Persona Five, like what we're doing is very like it's very heisty, like Persona Five, the game, and the main character's Rook. And I was just like, is that a connection? Well, it's not. Fun. Are you are you sure we're called the Rooks? I thought we were, aren't we? The, it's the it's the type of crew that you are. Yeah. Oh god damn it. <laughs> I also changed mine from artificer to fartificer. Nice. Uh for everyone at home, he changed the name of the crew sheet from Rooks to Crooks, which is very funny. <laughs> and we changed it back. Okay. okay. And I I, and I fixed Fartificer. Fartificer, why? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, that one's just funny. Let's get into some entanglements. So, uh, yeah. Um, let's see how you're entangled with the factions this time. So you roll equal to your tier. Um, so who wants to give me a fortune roll equal to your tier, which is one? Not it. Okay. It's, right. it, it's it's one at level, not tier. Um, this is my new rules. Oh, okay, I understand. Okay, cool. Um, I'll make that roll. Is it just a? Oh, Steven's already doing it. Oh, no, okay. I said not it. Actually, thank you very much. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, go ahead. It's just a fortune roll, right? Yeah, with one die. Don't fuck this up, Nick. Five. A five. That's good. What's, what's our heat level currently? Let's take a look. I was just looking at it and then I forgot it instantly. One, two, three, four. All right. Um, oh damn. So That's not good. A five. Friend of a friend or make things right. Okay. Friendly faction says two plus needs of assistance of a friend. Well, I'm seeing MC. reprisals or unquiet. Dead. He, has, yeah, he, has, he has his. He has his own. Thing I have my for, own. For oh, uh, super at. secret stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, do to do. So you have ranked up with the Illuminati and the Collective, so they're gonna want to borrow someone. Um, hmm. Friendly NPCs. Okay, I'll give you guys a choice. Um. Either the collective wants to talk to Ramla, or the Illuminati wants to talk to Teague. <laughs> fucking see ya, Teague. <laughs> like Ram- <laughs> Ramla, right? yeah. Yeah. fucking see but, ya, Teague. I would like, like to, life. I would like to point out that Teague is actually just a guy that that Bishop slept with a couple of times. That yeah has no actual connection to us in any way. I think she he, he likes works for a, a drug bit. dealer. I'm done with him. <laughs> like, listen, sometimes, you know when you're not dating anyone and you're just like, I just want to with. That's kind of how she is with Teague. <laughs> Where it's like, we're not dating, but you know. You're okay. boning. We're, we're, you're, bo- well, you're bone buddies. Hey, don't, it's not that crude. It is a little bit that crude. <laughs> I, I imagine like like Teague it's like three in the morning and Teague is asleep in his apartment and like Bishop drunk Bishop just like kicks down his door and says get your pants off. <laughs> this is not oh my God. at all true. I okay. do think she sends drunk you up text. That's a that's a that was aggressive. Uh, yeah, but yeah, Marembe while she's in the car flashing back says, we understand um, that you have met uh, a member of uh, Glimwing's operation. We'd like to uh, have a few words with him. Um, Would you mind giving us his address? I think Bishop 
kind of reluctantly kind of says, listen, he's, he's so low level and he's really not, he's, you're really, just don't hurt him. He's nothing. He thinks he's a big shot in Glim Wings organization. I don't know that this isn't true, is or isn't true, but uh, she says, he's just don't hurt him. And she give, gives over his address. Uh, Marembe smiles and nods and says, don't worry, you'll get him back in the same condition we take him. Well, he was pretty beat the fuck up last time I saw him. So that's, that's the joke. <laughs> to, to shreds, all you I say. Can, all I imagine now is just a little, a little notification. Teague will remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Buddy. Teague. Uh, yeah. Teague greatly disapproves. So, Rebecca, make a note for the next three scores, Teague is unavailable. <laughs> oh. Sorry, guys. Is Teague one of your friends on your character sheet? He isn't, but he should be. That's adorable. Yeah. All right. Teague was the the enforcer for Glimwing. He, he was just a guy that hung out. He was just a guy <laughs> sitting at the table at that club. Uh, at oh, Arcadia. man. What an unlucky and, son of a bitch. So just wrong place, wrong time. Yeah. Well, he's he just, he's part of the organization. Like, he, he moves yeah. drugs around. He's probably a drug dealer. It's fine. He's just like, you know. I was like, he's not a good guy, but let's be honest, none of us are. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, boop, boop, boop. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, so that's the entanglement. So we move into downtime. Uh, who would like to do their downtime first? Um, yeah, I'll go. Okay. Um, so, um, because of the whole last mission, um, and I spent, I would say, a good half of it just helping out Bishop, um, as well as being fucked over by her twice. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what about the, the clock that go? The es I escalate things very quickly, uh, which is our relationship being adversely affected by me fucking up. Mm -hmm. um, give me. Does that go um, up yeah, give me a fortune roll with two dice. Both of us, or just him? Just him. Okay. Three. Three. Okay. So not great. Um, you guys did help each other out, but like it, it, it was still very professional. You still haven't really like gotten to the root of the problem yet. Um, so it fills in one tick on your clock. Do so, you think it was very professional? Because let's not forget she stole my credit card and spent it at the bar. <laughs> exactly. Borrowed your credit card. That, Are you going to give me the money back? <laughs> I was definitely drunk Bishop just like kicked in Axton's door. <laughs> Stop saying that. All right. Um, did, you, did you get that, Ash? The one tick? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So now we're up to two ticks, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I'll make sure our clocks are the same. Okay. Uh, that doesn't count as a downtime action. That's just yeah. leftover. Um, I have, and I would, oh, what, sorry? Should I, should I have the clock for Ash and me too? That would be nice. Um, do, Acton, do you have that clock? Uh huh. Yeah, uh, because now it's at all costs two out of six. Yes. It, it gets at two out of six. Mm -hmm. and, and what? And what's it called? Protect, Protect mouse, mouse at, at all, all costs. costs. Okay, cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that one. That's a good one. Okay. okay. I think really had like so, a really good Ocean's Eleven like leverage, <laughs> and I just can't stop thinking about how good it was. <laughs> Sorry. What? Well, I, I like that we all fill like a certain archetype within the level. <laughs> Which one am I? Um, oh, I think we did. No, that was for. Never mind. Who are you actually? No, you don't fit in the archetype. What? What about the blonde? That's crazy. She's the thief. Okay. She is the crazy one. And that does fit, Steve. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Um, I'm going to indulge my vice. Okay. Um, and I think that looks like... Um, I think that looks like me uh, shopping for the black site. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I'm very conscious now that actually I want to make us better. Uh, so I... Uh, I'm going to be constantly uh, trying to upgrade, um, which fits in nicely with our previous upgrade, which doesn't really fit the downtime, but does now. Mm -hmm. um, 
uh, of doing that. So I'll, I'll use that as like I upgraded the base to food that training center. Mm -hmm. That's good. I like it. It's a five. A five. Clear five stress. That's good. I only have one now. Nice. Well done. Thank you very much. And for your next um, trick. <laughs> and for my next trick, I am going to look at what we've got. I am going to train prowess. Oh, oh we lost someone. Nope. Yeah. Back. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to train prowess. Um, so I am going to. So I can't remember what our prowess thing. Looks like. So for me, I thought it was just the. Oh, I, I thought it was just the um, basically the laser tag arena, but set up like an obstacle. Yeah, that's um, fine. Yeah, and, and so that that's basically the whole downtime. Acton is just going to be running that and running that and running that and running that. Um, Playing laser tag. We get it. <laughs> yeah, and he's, he's made little cardboard cutouts of the team uh, <laughs> that he has to, like, protect and, like, not shoot. Whereas there are, like, there are, like, cardboard cutouts of bad guys that he does have to shoot with the lasers. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's think... two into prowess. And that's you. Who would like to go next? <clears throat> uh, I'll go. Okay. Uh, I need to indulge my vice because I'm dying, Squirtle. Yep, a little bit. Uh, uh, <coughs> novelty. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll just indulge. <laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna double indulge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, no. There we go. That's better. What? All right. Wait, why did I roll? Why did my um, why did my indulge vice have two dice? Because um, it takes the um, <clears throat> let me double check this. It's like your lowest of insight yeah. prowess or resolve, I think. So if you have exactly. two in each one, uh, yeah. So, you have so two I only have one. Yeah, I only have one in resolve. So yeah, exactly. I'm the same way. Um, so yeah, and what does that look, look look like for Steven? Um, does he like buy toys for Pigeon or something? Or no, this Aww. is straight, this is straight up like he oh, he is funny. going out and like he's he's at like those like bargain tech warehouses where it's all like just broken garbage <laughs> tech, and he's just like buying so much of it, and like the whole time he's like looking around and muttering to himself and. Mm -hmm. And talking about spiders. Makes sense. Sounds good. He just had to he just had to kill one of his friends and now he has to make a new one. No. Oh, as you do. He ta he talks a big game about them being expendable, but he names them. He knows but them each. I will yeah. Remember. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. Jacob that went away. <laughs> Poor Jacob. All right. Uh very good. Uh, mouse or bishop? Um, I can go because mine's pretty standard. Mm -hmm. uh, first, I'm gonna indulge my vice. Mm -hmm. um, party, party, party! Yeah, exactly. And maybe this time she doesn't party. Maybe she just like sits at home and gets like drunk on uh, some margarita mix and watches Netflix. <laughs> Fair um, enough. She doesn't need to go out and have it be a whole thing a, every time. Yeah. Right. Not margaritas, though. Just margarita mix straight from the bottle. Fuck. Shit. Dear no me. tequila. <laughs> uh, I rolled a one. You can uh, double up I'm going to go. It. Yeah, I think I'm going to double up on it. I was going to heal my whiplash, but I. You instead... have coin. You can always spend coin for more. Mm, yeah. I, yeah I'll, let's see how this vice roll goes. Do the thing. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. If I clear all of it, that's not overindulging, right? It's Correct. It's just clearing everything. Okay. Whew. It's only if you clear more than you have. <coughs> okay. And I, Which I cleared... did last time. Exactly. <coughs> I'm not supposed to. That's amazing. Okay. All right. Then, yeah, I will spend one coin to do my healing clock. Okay. Um, if you want, uh, I'll give you, because you're spending a coin on this, if you want to just, like... Because all you have is whiplash. Like you could have gotten that through non non crime related reasons. So you can like go to an actual hospital and have. Oh, can I? 
Yeah, okay. and have them someone roll like three dice on this. Okay. Yeah, I have. Let's say like I go to a chiropractor. Actually, and it's like this feels like a little bit worse than Whiplash. <laughs> exactly. Um, so yeah, roll fortune with three, or healing with three. Okay. Come on. Here we go. The other thing is I have medic, so I can spend a stress to like give an alley one al- alley an ally one plus one D to Just recovery roll. But it's not. Yeah, <laughs> tell let me the help you. What to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got a five. <laughs> a five, excellent. Um, let me double check that. God damn it! Why doesn't it tell me what it actually does? Um, you know what? Let's just let's just get this over with. I'm gonna uh, hand wave it and say it gets rid of your whiplash because okay. it's been hanging around long enough and like Thank you. it's just kind of annoying at this point. <laughs> My neck hurts so bad I can't drill these <laughs> these servers out of the wall. Yeah, you just get used to it. Yeah. Okay. So you go to a chiropractor, right. maybe get a massage. Yes. Get it worked out. Oh yeah. Drink some more margarita mix. <laughs> drink some more margarita. <laughs> she pours some margarita mix, drink some, clears one stress, <laughs> pours a couple more. <laughs> Goes to the, gets a lift to the chiropractor because she's drunk. <laughs> yep, sounds good. All right, Mouse. <clears throat> All right, so uh, Mouse is also going to indulge in their vice. Uh, and I think the way that, Ma- that Mouse does this is um, before they, like, disseminate, before we disseminate all the information that we got, mm-hmm. um, Mouse is going to pull out some specific information uh, anyone who pays attention realizes that it's for a person called Harper Von Plume. Mm-hmm. Um, Good name. Uh, Mouse uh, prepares uh, th- these documents, kind of prints them off, um, and uh, mails them in the regular post um, it, to this person with a note that just says, like, you're off the hook. Mm-hmm. Um, and and also included is a couple of um, uh, uh, like police reports for some like street kids, um, kids who are staying at a uh, at like youth homes, uh, just being like, and they are too. Oh, that's um, nice. Uh, and it just makes Mouse feel like a regular person again. No, oh, I like it. Okay. Uh, n- no, no bonus dice, correct? Yep. Oh. Yeah, all right, cool. And five. Dang. Nice. That's Dang. all of my stress. Yes. That one roll was the same amount that I got in two rolls. You lucky some bitch. I can't believe we both <laughs> cleared our stress like exactly correctly because that's, yeah, that's so scary. Was, it's definitely nuts. <laughs> I feel like part of why you guys clear your stress so much cleared so much stress so much this time was because like things actually went well for once and like that's what really gets rid of your stress is when yes. things go smoothly. <laughs> yeah. Things didn't go terribly. Mm-hmm. What's my vice? Doing things right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Exactly. Um and I think my other uh, my other one is going to be um, I think I'm going to try to learn some new magic. Okay, uh, that will be a long term project. Yep. Uh, how does this, this work? One more time. Burr, burr, burr. Learning magic. Start learning magic. To unlock additional keywords, gain down specialized missions, or anything gleaned from the Echo. So yeah, it'll be an eight-segment downtime activity clock, and uh, you fill it by attuning to the Echo or studying magical tomes, provided one has access to such a library. You don't, so you'll be attuning. Okay. Uh, and I do I need to decide what the keyword is now, or can I decide later? You can decide later. All right, cool. All right, uh, so I'm going to attune. A tune good. One, no bonus dice. All right, let's do it. Ooh, two. <laughs> Boo. Poop. Uh, so just one tick on that then. That's fine. All right, cool. <clears throat> Very good. All right, that's all your downtime. Um, let's uh, let's see your XP real quick first before I forget. Okay. Um, because we're going to be ending the session after you guys decide what to do next. 
Uh, so let's do crew first at the end of each session. Acquire a new asset, contact, resource, intel, or expenditure influence with a faction. You guys did that a lot. We did a lot of that. So that's two ticks. Um, contend with challenges above your current station. Mm. You you were literally yes. going you back actually, to a place you've you been actually, to before. But you specifically said that, that something that we were doing was above our station. That's true because Tench was involved. Trench. Yep. Yeah. Yes. So that's one. Bolster your crew's reputation. You were savvy for once. Yeah, fuck yeah, we Woo! did. I like how Go it, advance, man. sometimes I think you guys cheated a little bit by choosing savvy and reckless. Cause like they're basically <laughs> opposites. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that. We didn't choose reckless though. We we, we chose savvy. And, and then, then you gave us we, reckless. We became reckless because actually we played just recklessly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we got into a massive car chase. It kind of depends on our mood, I think, on our the day of the week. <laughs> I, I think we are, guys. But we are. We're recklessly savvy. No, I think what it is is that we <clears throat> tend towards extremes. That's true. Yeah. Is, is what it yeah. is. And that, that's we why. We are anything there's... but average. Guys, that's it. That's our reputation extremists. Oh God! Well, okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know I like that a lot. <laughs> uh oh. But um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, just uh, just MI five listening uh, was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> We're not planning <laughs> to raid the Toronto HQ, the police palace at Forty College Street in Toronto, Canada. I never. Even what even worries me is that you knew the address. Offhand, <laughs> you knew the address. <laughs> okay don't so worry good. about it um and the last thing express the goals drives inner conflict or essential nature of the crew yes over and over again H how so okay so you had you had the issues going on between bishop and uh acton mm -hmm. multiple times you had the you had the doctor's uh, desire to use explosives a doctor. and that constantly be okay first off his title is the doctor so just constantly me. trying to like kick it up a notch too like yeah. pulling out a facer yeah like <laughs> and, and constantly getting up. shut down and getting shut down and then finally like there's a there's a time where c4 makes sense and they don't let him use it and then finally there's a time where c4 can't be used <laughs> Okay, I'll get I'll give you two on your next towards your next advancement for that. Would you guys like to spend this banked no. advancement now, or do we want to start working towards adaptable? Yes, yes. Or do we want to start? Well, hold on. Or do we want to start getting quality things? No, let's go to adaptable. Or we can get a special ability, you guys. We or agree. Can get a vault so I can hold more. That is true. I completely forgot about the special abilities. Well, we could do that. Oh, I, I, I feel on. I feel like let's do adaptable. That's the plan we agreed on at the beginning of the. <laughs> yeah, but special abilities. I agree. Bishop, yeah, let's do adaptable. Bishop, pro Bishop says you guys promised. <laughs> you guys promised. Guys, too late. I've put it in adaptable. Okay, very good. Woo. You can't you can't take them out. Mm-hmm. That's how that works. Okay. Yep. So that's your crew XP. Let's go down the list. Starting with Bishop, uh, earn XP when you address a challenge. Uh, well, did you did you mark your desperate actions? I did. I had two of them, and I marked them both. Good. Uh, and I wrote down yeah. that I marked them so I would not forget in case we didn't do this at the end. Thank you. Um, earn XP when you, you you should mark them in the moment. That's the correct way to do it. Earn okay. XP when you address a challenge using speed, foresight, or just in the nick of time. Um, you know, I'm going to start a new thing where I'm going to create clocks for you guys, and these will just be like little temporary XP clocks so that you guys can choose where to put things as I'm taking them off. Um, we address hey a challenge using speed, foresight, or just in the nick of time. We did foresight um, a lot. We used foresight a lot, and also I would think just like her like knocking over a cabinet was very like nick of time, like, pff, all right, go. That's true. Um, I'll give you that. Okay. Um, expressed your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background? Mm, kind of. I, I mean, this wasn't really in the mission, but when we were deciding who to sell the intel to, Bishop was very... As many as many hands and as many pots as she possibly can. Okay. Um, 
So one from that. Okay. Struggle with issues from your vice, relationships, or traumas? I don't really think I did. Mm, yeah, not really. Like, even Acton and I, like, slightly cold, but, like, not, you know. Yeah, you guys got a lot yeah. It wasn't hurting the mission. Yeah. Okay, so that's three XP banks that you can spend any which way you want. Hmm. Where? I will think. Okay. Steven, uh, every time you roll a desperate action, do you do any desperate stuff? I don't think I did. I, the, the worst I got was risky. Fair enough. Uh, earn XP when you address a challenge using tinkering, mechanical ingenuity, or artifice magic. You picked a lot of locks. Yes, I did. Yeah. Create an XP. And then, and then we, I remotely triggered the explosion using mm -hmm. a bot. You oh, did. It makes me so sad. All right. So two from that. Uh, express your beliefs, drives, heritage, mm -hmm. or background? Yes. Uh, how so? Every, everything is better with explosives. That's true. One from that, at least. Um, struggled with issues from your relationships or traumas? Yeah, people wouldn't let me use explosions. <laughs> over and over again. I just, I just wanted explosions, guys. We did later. All right. I'll give you one XP for that, too. So okay. that's four XP to spend. Uh, man, I'm one away if I want to go playbook. Acton, your turn. Yeah, I'll go playbook. Uh, do you do anything desperate, Acton? Ash? Ash just oh, he went away. He, he's he's he he RB. Oh, okay. Um, oh, let, let's skip ahead then to Mouse. All right. We'll come back to him in time. Uh... No desperate actions or... Nope. Uh, okay. XP, when you dress a challenge with technological aptitude or technical finesse, you definitely did that a couple times. Yep. <clears throat> so... Um, express your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background. You definitely did that. <laughs> with uh, leaving little messages for Tench and then uh, also just your downtime. Um, struggled with issues from your vice or relationships? Um, I don't think so. Okay. So that's four XP to spend for you. All right. Very nice. I'm going to go three and resolve. Okay. So I can get another level of a tune because that's very helpful. So after the downtime, uh, you guys down to plan your next move. Uh, what would you guys like to do next? out in the world what's going to be your next score i want to go do a job for the goblin market so that we can get uh rank up <clears throat> in, in oh sorry that's for the court never mind i want to do something for the court so we can rank up in court so that we can get an extra I was going to for mouse i was going to suggest that we go and solve the the issue that we're we've been hired to solve we can actually go and like actually shut down the um the drug dealing the drug, right now. yeah Okay, so you want to... You could also look into the guy killing people with a tractor. Oh, that's true, too. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, oh. Not, oh, my God, we never told you. <laughs> so, okay, so, like, two games ago... So, like, two games ago, uh, we... Uh, it was just... It was Mouse and uh, and Steven and Mo and My uh, Myrie? Mary? Myrie? Myrie. And Remember we your were, wife's name. yes, I probably should. And we all ended up in the Lux Victrix DMV basically because, okay. because crimes, one of which you caused. Thank you very much. I uh, don't recall uh, opening <laughs> doorways without a permit. I don't recall. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so we go there and to be, expunge our record, we had to do a job for them because there was like some weird weirdness going on. And we had to find out what was going on and contain it. And it turned out that there was a guy that had been killed. Uh, they'd been mangled. And we ended up looking into this barn. And we found a tractor like that had a whole bunch of sigils carved into it. And the tractor came to life and attacked us. And okay. uh, I shot it a bunch. And Mouse sc scratched off some of the sigils. And Myrie wrote it and 
Uh, we ended up we ended up beating it down just barely. Like we we walked out of there with almost everyone having almost full stress. And, oh my god! And but we figured out that uh, there's a good chance that the guy who's doing it is a guy who had recently been had the the farm bought out from under him, and then had moved to Toronto. So we think it's potentially him that was murdering pe people. We don't know for certain. With a possessed tractor. Yes. Yep. So we think that I, I, I had a theory that this guy is a, a magic user of some sort. And if he's killed once, he's probably still angry and will try to kill again. So we're keeping that on the back burner to see what happens. And uh, I'm going to keep an eye on that. Okay. Well. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, this I was is voting the first for time Bishop's ever yeah. heard of it. Just at this meeting, we like planned this whole thing together and like did this whole heist. And later, it's like, man, it's like that tractor, and it's just like, excuse me, what tractor? <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, it's like it's like Vindicators too. <laughs> exactly. Good Rick yeah, and Morty riff. Thank you. Um, but you know, I think we should do something for the court specifically because for five favor. Um, we can get the magic where he literally just gains one keyword. So, so the thing about the court and ranking them up is um, you guys are technically currently hired by the court. Um, I mm. haven't been tracking them just because your investigation is still ongoing and like kind of how you handle the investigation is going to influence the outcome of where you stand with the court at the end of all this. Oh. The drugs is the court. Is the court, yes. yeah. yeah. Oh, that works well then. So yeah, let's do the drugs next. Yeah. Especially because I was wondering, like, that one girl overdosed, has there been, have there been more? Before we turn over all the police records, can we find record of, you know... Uh, oh, you better believe. You better believe that Mouse copied all of these oh, yeah. yeah. Made Made copies of everything. Mm -hmm. Um... So, so he, um... Yes, I, I, I will give it to you for free that the problem is still ongoing. It hasn't been fixed. Okay. Like, then we need to are get still it. dying. So. <laughs> Bishop sends a text to, to Teague. Stop dealing to humans. <laughs> He's like, can't. Currently in an Illuminati box site. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the box no. site? <laughs> no, that, 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 what's her name? Nissa? Is that what you said her name was? The Illuminati lady? Marembe? Marembe? Marimbe. Marimbe answers the phone when you call him. <laughs> Be like, he's busy right now. Hangs up. Is someone hammering? Hammering? Just tell yeah, them to come it's in. at my house. Just it's tell okay. them to come in. It's fine. <clears throat> no, 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 Landlord's got to fix things, and then they'll know about the cat. Um, landlord's got a landlord. So, yeah, so you guys are going to try and shut down this drug operation. Um well, let, let's come up with your plan uh, in advance a little bit here. Um, so will this be like an out-and-out -out assault? Or like how, how are you planning to shut this place down, essentially? So I missed what we were doing. <clears throat> we're going to – we're planning for next time, and we're going yeah. to um, take down the drug ring now that we know who is behind it. His name is O. What's his name? Oaken. Oh. Oaken. Oh. Well, I knew it was Oakenheart, but then I was like, or is that a Hobbit name? I can't remember. <laughs> uh, That's a good Hobbit like, name. I was hoping I didn't get my references. Wasn't was it Oaken Shield the name of the dwarf in yeah. uh, yes. the Hobbit? Thorin. Yes. Yeah. Thorin. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so I'm not crazy, <laughs> uh, but Oakenheart. So we know Oakenheart is behind it. Is there? I like assault because uh, that would be fun. Is I'd there... love to do an assault one, guys. I know, buddy. I know. Um, is there a social connection here? Can we, like, call on one of our, like, we've got all of these groups that are interested in us now. Can we be like, look, we know who this dude is and what he's doing and that it's bad. I will you point help out us? that the librarians were very interested in finding out who was behind this and putting a stop to it. Then, so yeah, I would say that could be our connection. Sorry, say again? So, no, never mind. 
whatever Rebecca just said. That could be your point of connection. Right. Um, um, but how, but I how are they connected? <clears throat> I think, wait, so we're going to go and just put a stop to this guy, right? Mm -hmm. Let's, like, this is acted as just saying, let's just go and kill him. Like, this is it now. This is like, let's just go in. Like, okay, I've, but... I've had to pussyfoot around and like, just like, you know, stealth. But, I, you know, I'm here because I'm the guy that punches things and blows shit up. All right, I got okay. this. If you kill him, another guy just takes over. Not okay. We need we need to take down the the operation, not the people involved. I think I have both. Both would I, be fine too. I still what? have some C four. Oh my god. I have I have no issue with killing them. I have no issue. When when Steven says I still have some. C4, uh, actor just looks at him and points like yes. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <clears throat> so at this point, the question seems to me because you're all agreed that you're going to attack probably this bathhouse, right, where they make the drugs. Is yeah. That correct. Yeah. Um, so the question is: Are you going to attack it by yourself, or are you going to try and call in the the librarians as well? I, th I think uh, we call. Them, I think we call them the librarians. They've got. They've got some firepower. They they have Brigida. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brigitte. Yeah. Yeah, kind of a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. She has a rocket flail. It's absolutely Brigida. I guess she is. That's funny. Um, yeah. Alfie was her name? Yes. No, Alfie. Alfie's my name. Uh, she's, got a, she's got a long name. Wait, yeah. is Alfie her name? Alfie's my name. <clears throat> Acton's your name. No, but my alias is Alfie White. Well, then you stole her name. Mm -hmm. No, this is you can have the same name. I'm just saying. Well, that's true. Alfie is a common name in English. Her name is Knight uh, Commander Alfie Daguerre. Then yeah, I think we talked to Alfie about maybe getting. It, it's kind of social, but it's also kind of like assault. We're just getting backup. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know good. that it would be so. I don't know that it would be social. I think it'd be assault since we know what this place is. I feel like we're going in like SWAT with mm -hmm. the librarians. I I like that you say SWAT because my first imagining of like starting this assault and I really goddamn want to do this is acting just firing an RPG into the building. Wow. No, I don't <laughs> think so. It's still in a, a city with bystanders <laughs> and people, and also what if Teague's in there? Because yeah, he, he works for it. He works. Yeah, but he, he, no, he, he's he's not going to be there. Okay, <laughs> because, he's like love level. I didn't think so. But well, also, we also just like we just have. Yeah, for the next three things, he's unavailable because he's you know been taken by the what's it? Illuminati. Oh yeah, yeah. the Illuminati's got him. He's not going to be there. Yeah, he's fine. He's safe, basically. Safe. So he's not going to be there. Question mark. I'm taking I'm taking an RPG with me, guys. Okay. Oh, uh, boy. Okay, but yeah, I think it is assault. Okay, so it'll be assault, uh, and you're calling yes. the librarians. Um, okay, I'm going to think a bit about how to set that up, and uh, we'll probably start with a conversation with Alfie, like actually kind of like planning out your guys' approach, uh, and then we'll go in from there. Cool, okay. cool. Okay. This has been a cool session, guys. This has, yeah. I hope yeah. you liked it. We did, did it. We did so well. You did so well. Now for We're not in everyone to get shot. It'll be great. Yeah. Yeah. Good thing. We, slice, we go through the door, slice the pie, slice the pie. <laughs> it's definitely a good thing that Mouse got a uh, got some training with guns. So. Yep, yep. Very good. I have guns. Can I, I forgot that that was me that taught you that. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> That's okay. why we're at two out of six. Yeah, I forgot. All right. I'm going to talk to you guys later then. Have a good week, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.